All right. So here is this week's question. Now that you started assaulting the drow fortress of Voith, how do you feel it's going so far? It's going um, quite smoothly. They're just around here. They're just up here fucking around. <laughs> Better than expected, but we haven't seen any of the people that are in charge yet, so I'll save my hurrahs until then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely better than it has any right to go. But hey, great teleport move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the combination of spider climb and teleport did us good. Mm-hmm. Although yeah, the, until we can get a better short rest, I am. Sorry, what was uh? What did you say, Michael? Yeah, I think it's going good, at least from uh, the perspective up there with the spiders. All right, just Thrum's opinion now. All fucking drow must die. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, by that, do you mean all drow must die, or all drow that who are currently fucking must die? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that joke was teed up for me. Uh, I love it. Just move the comma over. <laughs> Either way is technically correct. <laughs> right. Just go with the commas while he helps his Uncle Jack off a horse. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, do we need to recap of last week at all? Um, I'll go ahead last and do week. it. Or, yeah, the, the last, last time we played. Yeah, last month. <laughs> um, so we made our way back to the Skidrill Temple, um, spoke with the White Widow, convinced her to meet with the Alchemist in person. Um, Thrum had a conversation, a heart-to-heart with Ivy um, about losing said um, yak in the coming days. Um, we traveled to the, the secure location. We convinced the gnomes to join as a neutral party. Um, the um, conversation with the um, peace talks went really well. Um, we had whatever drow woman, I can't remember her name off the top of my head right now. I'm not going to look it up. Yeah, it's no problem. Um, she seemed to be skulking about. Um, not sure what she was wanting, but we wound up, one of us wound up shooting her and then she ran away. Um, we made our way back to the drought fort. Um, seems Miku wants to travel us with us for the long run. Um, we made the plan that we enacted where me and Ivy spider climbed behind the wall, killed a couple guards and set off one of the ballista into the other one. Um, and then we started fighting, um, Taskal and Nulgrim, um, went up to the top of the tower via teleportation to, start a panty raid. <laughs> and yeah, we ended up with killing the last drow after I, of, as is tradition, rolled a natural one on my new weapon that causes <laughs> things to happen on a natural one. And that's pretty much where we left off. All right. <coughs> so we'll uh, return to the action in media res. Uh, you guys have secured the tower here. You might need to move us if you haven't yet. All oh, right. I always forget that. No, I just gotta find us on this map. There. Do you mind shift clicking? I thought I did. I'll oh, do it again. Do it again, real quick. Yeah. yeah I think I was scrolling when it happened. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Did you get it now? Yep. yep. Okay. Slow load. Yeah, I'm going to be doing uh, smaller maps next time. This this big map bank thing is... It, it's it's annoying for me to set up because I have to scroll all around to find the right mm-hmm. map. So. Yep. Uh, it also helps to, um, to... If you do have a big map, to mm-hmm. Photoshop it and clop, um, crop it into multiple pieces. Mm-hmm. And it loads better that way rather than one big map. Well, no, I, I literally took all the maps from the books and put it onto one image. Oh, yeah, that'll be... Oh, yeah. wow, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, no, that, that, that that's yeah. That's a that was a mistake. So <laughs> I only have like made. <laughs> I only have like five actual pre-made maps for book two, and then everything mm-hmm. else is going to be custom made by me anyway. So gotcha. Well, live and learn. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, I cropped so, that shit like a motherfucker in my game. Oh yeah, I imagine. So, yeah. you guys are not currently in combat time. The the tower did. Um, set off the alarm, correct? Yeah, they're definitely aware you're here. Okay. Do they have any way of knowing that we're in the other tower? I mean, there's only one way into the main fort. So. Uh, yeah. At least uh, you can see. Tasco, I'm not sure if you have one, but I would offer you one of my um, healing potions to keep on you since you seem pretty low. Uh, where is the entrance into the uh, it's a uh, bottom stair here that they didn't represent on the map very well. Like they described it in the text, and it's like whoever yeah. designed the map. The dotted line the dot. here is supposed to be like a landing under it. Yeah. So it's it's a thing. Uh, but anyway, yeah. If if you want for tactical, I have three potions. You probably could have one. Yeah, it's still good. Most of my spells. But to keep on you too, because you're eventually going to run out of spells, and I forgot to divvy these up anyway. So, okay, this is just a regular healing potion. We should hold the door at the bottom, because that's the that's the only way into the tower, right? That uh, catwalk that you know he, he peers out from the top, and I imagine he sees that tunnel. Yeah. Okay. You guys saw it during reconnaissance. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna see if I could have my bat friend get a view of the. L- look at the larger structure. Are there windows and arrow slits and whatnot? Um. Or is it just a solid? Let me let me look at the picture. I know that this section here is mm. a uh, a solid like tunnel. There's no yeah. open section. So. Um. No, it's just a solid tower. Okay, so there's no way for my bat to fly around and. Sc- you know, peering anywhere? Nope. It's definitely Damn. a solid tower. Well, sheet. If you uh, scram- uh, pan over to the left, you can see the artwork. All right. You could send it down that tunnel. But... I guess windows are kind of moot in a underground fortress for the most part. Let the light in? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Nice cool breeze. <laughs> all right we want to press on um i'll skulk on ahead if you don't mind uh, let me know we're here that is true but on the safe side we, if we can get a slight um advantage on stealth so i will go ahead a little bit um Gombo, if it's okay, I will be taking my action to do basically the dodge action to get advantage or disadvantage on the attacks against me. Yep, that's totally fair. And just be well, taking it slow. Do you want me to send my bat in there and see if... Yeah, um, go ahead and do that first, but I will be probably taking point okay. on this one, at least at least this tunnel. So the bat will go ahead and uh, get a little bit ahead and then just kind of start... I'm not sure how well bats crawl. I know they crawl and grip, but I don't know how well it's they five, do. five feet of movement, according okay. to the sheet, stat sheet. Uh, okay, one second here. I'll just wait here until we're done with this part, because I don't want to... Just barely misses your bat. Oof. Can we tell where it came from? It Well, no, you can't, because it's a tiny little hand crossbow in a, in a room that the bat flew into. Do I see... Uh, it, I'm currently viewing from the bat's eyes. Oh, so okay, you're I currently viewing from the bat? Yeah. Then I'll, yeah. I'll just reveal this then. Okay, and kind of seeing that, and, you know, seeing the fire, sh- uh, the shot fired, Nolgren will take a, one quick look at it and then snap his bat away and out of harm's way. And yeah. then would whisper to the others and say, there's a party in there waiting for us. Three of those cats, three handlers, and one other figure that uh, looks like to be the commander of that particular group. 
you do know, uh, I, I marked it with the yellow dot. This guy is mm. actually unarmored, unlike the other ones. Okay. Uh, he's wearing just like a, a tunic or something. He's not naked like the ones upstairs. Mm. Um, I have a feeling he, um, like, if you relay this information, um, there's a good chance that, um, like, going back basically on to his own personal notes, this could be either the torturer or um, the poison expert. So, Do we want to send the steel defender in there first and raise the ruckus and give us a chance to push in behind? Let him be the battering ram. Do we want to risk having to go out of commission this fast, though? I would say better it than us. Yeah. I'm also concerned if it blocks the way, if we can't get by it, if it's broken. Because this is a very narrow... Like, this is like, if someone gets stopped, we can't keep going, right? You definitely have to be a single file for this one. That's why I say, let Steel Defender be the fast one, charge in and clear the door and allow us to pour in behind after. The Steel Defender can clear the door in a single move action. I say, I would say, get him in there, get him off to the side and draw attention away from the door and that way we're not trying to just push through like a bottleneck. Fair enough. Um, I assume this would probably be a good time to do initiatives then. Yep. Not to tell you what to do, Gambo. Nope, it's no problem. And Nogrum's bat will be back on his uh, shoulder. Yep. Um, and using blind sense to, you know, help alert if there's any... Uh, any invisible enemies nearby. I would acknowledge the um, Skizrel to what, since they're probably not going to be able to get through this tunnel. They actually to, can. I, I forgot that uh, spiders can comp- compress really well. So I would still attack. advise them to be basically on guard on the outside so we don't have like mm-hmm. an outside party coming from anywhere else that we didn't see. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah, is, they'll, fo- they'll follow your lead. Is there any entrance from the top? Because I know it looks solid, but imagine if there's a giant roof, there's a way to get up there, right? Or I don't think it's like a, a roof that people can go up and stand on because the picture of it looks like it's pretty spiky. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, don't forget to roll for uh, Miku as well if you guys have it. Yeah, I was letting someone else take care of that since I was handling Ivy. I didn't want to. I think Cope was doing it last time because he's also a barbarian. Yeah. Gotcha. Barbarian with barbarian, rogue with rogue. It, it kind of makes sense. It's, that way you guys don't have to pivot between ability sets and how they work. We can all start making jokes about Throm and Miku being a thing instead of Ivy and <laughs> Fergus. Won't that be hilarious? No, no, we can't We can't ruin the uh, that drow chicken, Throm. Mm-hmm. Throm's that, that is, ship. That is fair, yeah. Uh, uh, the drow is named Hestia, so I believe the ship name is Hestium. Mm. Either oh, or, or, or Thrustia. Ooh, yeah. Thrustia. <laughs> I, I like that one. We'll, we'll, we'll lock that ship in. Yep. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be his first ship. <laughs> Won't be his last. All right. Hey. <clears throat> so, Ivy, we can just... um. If you're sending him steel divider first, we could just skip to. You're, um, you're quiet all of a sudden. Sorry. If we're if we're sending in the steel defender first, we could just skip to Freya. Yeah. We're yeah. Sure. Probably. Okay. Wow. Freya. All right. Yes. Steel defender. It's going to. Run in there. And clear it and then move. And then. Well, steel defenders move speed? 40, I believe. Uh, 40 feet. Should we have all delayed until after Freya? I mean, it's the same thing as just waiting yeah. on the initiative. Um, 
And I'd recommend having it go full defensive at that point because this probably could take a lot of fire. So move, clear the door, and then just prepare to dodge. A dodge action as a standard action. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be my recommendation. So do something like that. All right. Um, it'll take three draw hand crossbow attacks. A disadvantage. Oh, right. Thank you. So ignore that first roll. One, two, three. They all miss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, however, the handlers are uh, wise enough that they hold back their uh, hunting leopards for mm-hmm. now. What's Ray doing, right. though, other than the Steel Defender? Yeah, because you can still move as well. Mm. Um, seeing as Freya has been our range support so far, I think I'm going to... Uh, yeah, you're the only one with multi-attack. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to... Uh, actually, what is the best thing to do here? I could, I don't, let me see if I can clear the door. Dwarf move speed is 25. 25, so you're I, I, I think we'd all have to double move. I think that's probably for the best at this point. Just flood in there as quickly as we can. All right. I also, I think I saw a spider climb on me. I was just with the spider. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, Freya will... Actually, how tall is the uh, how tall is that tunnel? Not far, uh, not very high, maybe six and a half feet. Okay, so. it's designed to be a choke point. Mm. But but what about this room? Could she climb up this wall and get some uh, height? Yeah, but then she once she gets fire once she gets in two, there. Yeah, once she gets in there, she could. But then she couldn't fire her two handed heavy crossbow. Three points of contact rule for spider climb. Mm. All right. So, hmm, I don't want to. Might just take up behind the steel defender then. Yeah, that would be twenty. Ignore that space I went up there. That would be forty. From. You've got ten more. Yeah, might as well clear out yeah. as much space around the door as you can to make room for us to flood in. There you go. All right. Uh, the draw agent was smart enough to wait for a fleshy target, so he'll take his prepared hand crossbow attack. Uh, this will be at normal because you're not dodging, but he will miss anyway. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, he wouldn't get his sneak attack. Because he doesn't qualify for anything. Mm. Now, now it is the drow hunting leopard's turn. I do have a really quick question, Gumbo. What's this over here? Oh, that's like a large stone throne. Uh, as you enter this room, uh, the four corners kind of come up to like a very low vaulted ceiling. Like it's trying to be fancy, but it's just there's not a lot of space in here. So this is some uh-huh. sort of like audience hall, basically. Gotcha. Which I, I just want to point out that if each of these squares is five feet, this is actually very large for a building that's 40 feet across a room. <laughs> these maps are sometimes deceptive on how large these rooms are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, Hunting Glipper's turn. They release... Uh, so this one's definitely going to come in for the Steel Defender. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this one is definitely going to come straight up Freya there. And then I'm going to roll a 1d2. No, actually, better yet, I'll roll an animal handling soldier to see if he can direct it to where we go. Nope, it's going after the Steel Defender. All right, so two claw attacks on the uh, oh, disadvantage on the steel defender. One, two, those will miss. And 
one bite attack on. Wait, hold on, let me make sure I read this right. Uh, no, it's a claw attack on. Whew, sorry, Freya. Also a miss. All right. Drow's agent's turn. He will bonus action reload his hand crossbow, and then he will fire it again at Freya. This time he will be getting his sneak attack if he hits, which he will miss yep. because Gombo got the bad rolls today. Huzzah! <laughs> Listen, and this is how I knew it would come down to. It was yeah. either I'm, I would roll fire <laughs> and this would be really bad all the way through, or it would be yakety sacks and <laughs> it seems more to the ring. <laughs> Can't dice today, have the bad. <laughs> Um, Ivy will go up to there, and then she will, um, let's see, she... Is that all she... Oh, no, she has bonus action that could dash. That's bonus action and movement. She can action dash, but she'll take an attack. Mm. So, that's that's the... So, but she can't attack and get, uh, sneak attack damage against one of the leopards right now, right? Yeah. Awesome. So, I think I'll have her pull out a knife and just have stab the one she's next to. Okay. That'll hit. Full damage. Uh, that is 13 damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just right through the back of the skull. Goes down. Is that? Just imagine her being like, woohoo, not undead this time. <laughs> Draw soldier time. Let's see here. Uh, I will say that they will all bonus action reload their hand crossbows. <laughs> we'll get two on Freya, one on Ivy. So, Freya first. One, two. Those shouldn't have been a disadvantage. Be. Uh, so, so, that's that, a, so the first one would have been six. Three piercing damage, and then give me a constitution saving throw at advantage. As I roll attack, maybe. 17. All right. 17 will hit Ivy. All right. Three pieces of damage, same. And she has to do a constitution saving throw? Yeah, just not at advantage because she's yeah. not. Advantage. Oof. Let's see. I don't think. Okay, so you both failed. Okay. So, uh, good news, bad news. Uh, bad news is each of you have the poisoned condition for one hour. Oof. Good news is you guys didn't fail the saving throw by an amount that would make you immediately drop unconscious for one hour. Yeah, that would have been problematic. <laughs> so, <laughs> Although, instant short rest, right? <laughs> if I was like, okay, hold on. <laughs> Like, excuse me, guys, we'll be back in an hour. Mm. Just pull around. All right. So, I think we have a poison. Yep, we do. Poison bottle. Fergus. Okay. Um, with bonus action, dash, and movement, I can get to here. Mm -hmm. And I will um, stab at the one next to Freya as I... Had my bow out, but it doesn't really help against these things that are close range. Yep. And stab at it with the stab shroom. 13. Uh, check. Yep, that hits. Uh, 10 damage. 10 damage. Not enough to kill it. Yep. But it's I, I, I rolled poopy on that one. I rolled one, one, and one. <laughs> That's and a two. damage. Oh, almost minimum damage. Yeah. All right. Thrum. All right. Thrum will see how far he can get. So he can get five more. He can get to there on a dash, and then he will bonus action. Uh, Big Thrum? 
Big, uh, yeah, big throw. How many rages do you have per day? Because I know there's a limit on them. I only have two rages. That's why I just use the enlarge right now. Yeah, I don't think he's used one yet, actually. Yeah, I haven't raged yet. I haven't fought yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, was, I was just curious about the whole um, rage thing. I couldn't remember how many there were. You only have two I know rages it's pretty limited. Oh, I know in Pathfinder, it, when I'm playing how do I have like 10 or something right now? Well, like you can rage that's rounds, twice. Ra- yeah, that's rounds. Yeah. Yeah. This one, you keep raging as long as you're attacking or being hit. Mm-hmm. But once okay. you lose the rage, that counts as one. And technically, I don't think he has to be raging to go big drum. Because it's no. two different classes. Uh, did you want to make yourself stone looking, Cope? Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot about that. Yay. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you go up, almost bumping your head on the ceiling. I believe that's your entire turn. Uh, yes. Tascal. Mm-hmm. And bonus action hammer time. All right. <laughs> I can remember how to drag it off of the thing. I uh, hear you still yeah. have. No, I deleted the old one. Okay. It's timed out by now, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, I imagine. And I'll roll that attack against, uh, I guess, F- Captain Fancy Pants in the back. All right. Spirit weapon. Normal roll. That'll hit. Seven damage. And Haskell's spiritual weapons are always on point. Mm-hmm. Wax is good. All right. And then the dwarf turned giant and started fighting with a hammer. No, he wasn't holding the hammer. He was fighting with it, like, independently of each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miku. All right, Miku has 30 feet, so he can move. Does he use a reach weapon? I don't remember. Uh, he has a spear, but it's not a long spear. Okay. Let me get rid of this, uh, All right. So he's going to run up here and stabby, stabby. New rug. <laughs> was he able? Was he able? To oh, no, move? he can't do that. He's double yeah. moving. Yeah, he double uh, moves. He'll just get to there. Okay. Furnishings will have to wait. <laughs> and, and he also has his uh, fist as well. Poison damage. All right. I believe that just leaves Nilgrim. There, thank you. Get there. From there, do I have line of sight of agent guy? Uh, yeah, I would say you do. Okay, then I'll hit him with a double uh, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Pew pew. Pew pew. See, yep, those will both hit, and those will do twenty-one damage total. Yep. Yep. There, there's the Eldritch Blast damage. We're he goes down. Yep. Bam. Do dwarf sp- spectral dwarf and fish just slug him right in the jaw? Yep. Well, cracks his skull wide open. They both punch him in the temple. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna uh, keep moving the bodies off, otherwise this will get cluttered. Yep. Awesome. So uh, on the floor. Brings back to Freya. All right, the skilled defender is going to attack this one. Mm-hmm. Force empowered range for a normal roll. Ooh, there we ooh, go. Yeah. yeah, that'll do it. And that's the one I heard before, so I'm pretty sure. <laughs> just it. Turns around, puts its pneumatic jaws around its neck, and is just whoo- and then pop. And <laughs> is gone. Um, I just realized that the Steel Defender and Fergus make a One Piece character, <laughs> Steel D Fergus. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Freya is going to use the heavy crossbow on this guy. Okay, you'll be at disadvantage because poisoned. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's a pretty nasty one. Does he get another save? No, it'll last nope. for an hour. 
It doesn't. Okay. It's not doing any passive damage. It just gives him yeah. disadvantage. On Luckily, I do get two attacks now. Yeah. So. So It'll that help. kind of makes up for it. Mm. So, number one. That'll hit. Number two. That'll miss. Mm. Number one's damage is four. All right. So that was anticlimactic. Well, yeah, I rolled minimum damage on that. Yeah, so many ones on the damage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the last hunting leopard will take a singular claw attack at um, Vergus. Uh, oop, 19. Ooh, that'll, that'll hit, yeah. Five slashing damage. I don't know why my buttons weren't working. I didn't have numb locked on. <laughs> All right. So, second. Uh, another drow, just like the one that uh, Nulgrim just took out, comes in with a short sword drawn, and he'll take a swipe at. Thrum, uh, sorry, two. My apologies, I read that. Uh, so, <laughs> one, two. Uh, I imagine that's just going clang off of uh, Thrum's stony hide. Indeed. Right. Thrum's also carrying his shield, which is out of the ordinary, but he was carrying it for crossing that field. Yeah. Mm. And because defense. Ivy's going to sh um, shoot at this one. The kitty cat to get him out of the way. Okay. After she stows her dagger. Disadvantage because of poison. Yep. Let me roll a second time, but I'm pretty sure it'll miss either way. Yep, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then she will move. Let's see. She can move like that, that, and down to here. And that's the turn. Okay. You're out. Soldier time. Uh, these two next to Thrum will just attack him with their uh, short swords, but this one here will in to engage first. So, first up, Fergus. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. 12 damage. Do I need to do another constitution? Or? No, their swords are not poisoned. Gotcha. Uh, and then two attacks against Thrum. One, two. I think one of those hits. Yep, first hit. Uh, for seven piercing damage. And that'll be their turn. Fergus. Um, so, bonus action. Um, give advantage to Thrum for his next attack. Mm -hmm. And then I will make an attack against this cat. Yoke. Hit it. Uh, that will not hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm having some issues with those attack rolls. That's my turn. All right, Thrum. All right, Thrum is going to. Which one hit him? Um, I'll say the north one. Okay, he is going to turn and swing at the north one. Okay. At advantage. At yep. advantage. Yep, that that'll hit. So eight damage. Max him good, but he's still standing. Definitely bloodied. I believe that's it. Uh, Tascal. Alright. In which case, bonus action to move that and try to finish that one off. Mm -hmm. I'll mm. miss. And for the meanwhile, I will be 
attacking the cat as everyone is doing else. <laughs> and also miss. That this one. cat is agile. <laughs> Capture it, tame it, make it ours. <laughs> A it can pull the cart. Pokemon <laughs> activate. <laughs> All right. We find a stone that can capture my animal. Miku. <laughs> All right, Miku's going to try and hit this mystical cat that cannot be hit. <laughs> this cat is the end boss. <laughs> All, right. All right. Elgrim. All right. Moving in proper, he's going to see the agent that he thought he killed last time and uh, hit him again. All right. I know it's a different one, but fuck it, they all look the same. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had to go there. It's true. true. I curse you with double net ones. No, of course <laughs> you hit. <laughs> yeah, you hit both. So, 18. He's still standing, but he's very grievously hurt. Okay. That is my turn. Okay. Freya. All right. I'm going to have the steel defender attack the cat. All right. Let's see it. Dog versus cat. Go, dog. Go, pneumatic hammer dog. Go, still D. Fergus. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that damn will that cat. Just barely miss. <laughs> All I picture is the um, steel defender. The way the picture is, like he looks at it, and all of a sudden the head like does like a jackhammer motion to attack. <laughs> and then I'm gonna shoot at this one again twice. All right. At disadvantage. One. I'll miss. Two. No miss. Nice C combo, but if you add them together, that's 22. <laughs> Arithmetic, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. The hunting leopard will take another claw at Fergus. And miss. Well, because it's too busy dodging. <laughs> <laughs> it is agile. And the drow agent will disengage. No, he's you like, better run. He's like, nope. <laughs> he's well below half health. He's completely reasonable that he just want to run away and hide. All right. <laughs> My <laughs> turn. Um, hey, throw me, letting him get away. I imagine Ivy. Oh like, yeah. Oh wait, he disengaged. Yeah, yeah he disengaged. <laughs> Imagine Better Ivy's vision is blurry a little bit from the poison. I'll have her step up and she'll two up and fight with daggers as she drops her bow. Yep. Well, short sword and dagger, but yeah. These will be a disadvantage. Oof. Uh, yeah, they will both miss. Okay, that's their turn. Right. Uh, so one draw soldier will attack Ivy because you just made yourself a larger threat, and the other two will continue attacking Thrum. So first up, Ivy, miss, Thrum, hit, miss, five piercing damage. Yeah. Imagine your temporary hit points are helping quite a bit with this. Yeah, I'm. I'm just taking them off at the top. Uh, top. Yep. Next level, he gets another one. All right, Fergus. Um, first attack is going to be on this goddamn cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe try attacking something else sometime. <laughs> just, just floating that out there. It's doing like no damage. You guys are focusing hard. <laughs> But clearly it's the boss. He's tanking I mean, everybody. He, he is the tank. <laughs> but we can't uh, five foot step away. I'm going to offhand attack the um, drow. Of course that one hits. I stand by my comment. This is the end boss. Yeah, the goddamn he, guys. <laughs> he has the protagonist shield all along. Fuck. 
And then I'm just going to circle around um, to here. Okay. Wait, no, I'll go here because that would provoke from the drow otherwise. Yep. Good call. All right. Drum. All right. Drum is going to try and smash the one again. Yep. That is Miku Sheet. This is Thrum. That'll hit. Oh, yeah. He's super dead. Just completely bisected. Mm-hmm. All right. Tasco. Yep. Uh, that'll mess. <coughs> and continuing the missing of the cat. <laughs> that'll hit. I am <gasps> not missing the cat. Not dead, but very grievously wounded. Miku, sweep the leg. Miku sweeps the leg. Thank you. That'll hit. And that'll kill. Oh, is Miku raging right now? Yeah, is he raging right now? No. Oh, you can just... It kills it either way, but you can... Uh, you might need... Yeah, you might have put that it. ticked on, on the sheet. Yeah, it was clicked on earlier. Yeah, that <clears throat> and then he's going to walk over here. Wait. Scratch that. 25. Forgot he won't provoke if he just walks straight into the guy. Yep. A, yeah. Back and, back and forth between systems. We gotta have some burps in there. But we're technically speaking. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Sorry. Mind fart. All right. Nogram. Nogram will go here, get line of sight, and double Eldritch Blast. Okay. So you've got double attack too now? Uh, only with my cantrip. Yeah, some, can, blast. some cantrips. Uh, also both miss. Okay. Go uh, double attack at level yeah. 5. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's probably now I think about why uh, Battlesmith Artificers get it at level 5. Because other spellcasters are double mm-hmm. tapping with cantrips. So it makes sense to give double attack. Anyway, Freya. Okay, let's have the seal defender come up here and attack. Mm-hmm. So I'll miss. Gonna be a miss. And then Freya's going to shoot. All right. The boss power swapped to this peon. <laughs> well, he's surrounded, so. We just hear in the background, assuming direct control. <laughs> uh, that just narrowly missed, but the second one will hit. Seven. seven damage. He's looking not good now. Very panicked because he's completely surrounded. Mm-hmm. All right. Anything else? Um, so you guys see what I'm doing. I'm not doing the measuring thing. So that should help. Alright. One more moment. Are these open hallways, by the way? Or yeah, they, they are. are. They're, there's just like a step down. I, I just was kind of assuming you guys have had like battle tunnel vision, so you haven't mm. glanced down yet. That's fine, but like if we move to them, we didn't have to like open doors or something. Nope, nope, they're all good. All right. Ivy. Uh, I'll just say, like, can we just say that like her bonus action is grabbing her bow and throwing it away as she moves? Uh, as written in the rules of 5th edition, you get one free item interaction per turn, be that picking up an item in your square, opening the door, or swapping weapons. So it doesn't cost bonus action for her to grab okay, it. Because she just wanted to grab it and stow it away as she moved. Yep. So. And then attack with her short sword. Miss. Uh, Makes feeling better. Both of those would have missed. 
That one hits, though. 13. And drops him. Just catches him straight in the kidneys where he isn't expecting. And he goes down. They never expect a kidney shot. <laughs> they should totally expect a kidney shot. From a gnome. All right. There's no one in the room currently, but we're still in combat time. Fergus. Um, bonus action. I'm going to use second wind to restore four health. And I'm going to go into this corner and just try to stealth. All right. You, you press yourself up against the wall very quietly. And that's my turn. All right. Thrum. Uh, can he see down this hall? Yeah. Can, can we reveal as we start to focus? Yeah. I will just do... This. That should be good. Uh, that's, a, that's a spiral staircase starting there. And I don't know if some people can see through this one as well. Oh, okay. I'll just reveal the whole area because what the hell. There's a lot of this. Doing it for some reason. He said, wait, my command. <clears throat> the hell? You rolled the token instead of chose the token. Yeah. Mm. And uh, he's going to shrink back down and start heading down the hallway. I think it should be pretty obvious what's doors, and then that's just a spiral staircase yeah. going up. Not down, only up. Okay. With just a quick glance, you're able to see it looks like this one singular spiral staircase goes all the way up to the top floor of the tower, with multiple floors in between. <laughs> all right, he's going to step right here and kick that door. All right. Kick it open. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on the fog. Right <laughs> All right, you kick the door. Anything else you want to do? <laughs> it's decided to be cheeky, and it's like, oh, I, you selected in Pragnal Reveal. I thought you meant hide areas. <laughs> yeah, this is why I started going toward the dynamic lighting. Yeah. And I can just reveal doors as you guys go through them. I'll, I'll do that in the future, but... Yeah, it's no time. Yeah, you, you probably wouldn't want it with a map this big either. Yeah, well, concerning the other entire area. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you look in here; it, it appears in an empty room that the back wall is all lined with kennel cages. Uh, judging by the smell of cat shit, you imagine this is where they kept the hunting. Weapon. They all appear to be empty right now, with a couple of the doors are open. You would surmise that they quickly popped them open and got those three leopards out right as they heard you the alarm being sound. All right, doors down this way, fellas. All right. Tasco. I think he's got five more movements. So. Oh, you can go ahead, then. Mm, same deal. And pop this door open, I guess. All right. If that only goes up, then we just need to keep an eye on it. As we clear this floor, and hopefully there's not another one. <laughs> Turns out all these rooms have stairs. It's that's a uh, it's a small room that has a wooden trap door in the center of. Going up so, or down? Floor. The tra I trap door on the floor going down. Okay. Some sort of hatch over here. Just, you hear a whisper from around the corner. I'm sure that goes down to the torture chamber. Worth checking. Yeah, I guess I'll use a bit more of my movement to get over Okay. near the okay. hatch. But that's probably a turn's worth. Don't you get a free item interaction? Could you He opened the door. The I guess he oh, could use the yep. standard to open it if he wants to. No, that was 30 feet to get to that door. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. All right. You can move your weapon up, your spiritual weapon up a little bit. Oh, yeah, you can always True. do that. Yeah. Might as well get it, keep it in close proximity. For the six more turns it will exist. Thank you. 
second fastest in the party. Hope you muted if you're saying anything. Sorry, it just didn't register at all that I am Miku. <laughs> I am Miku. I have become Miku. We are Miku. He's just going to kind of stay there in the middle of everybody. Yep, makes sense. Nelgrim. Okay, go this way. Five, ten, fifteen. So, single move, then up to 30 to appear around the corner there. Anything around the corner? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. Again. I got you. I, I'll let you guys know this now. All the hallways in this fortress are curvy, so it takes me a minute. They gotta make it easy on you. <laughs> Nothing in this is block shaped. <laughs> so, right. More There's doors, a... more continuing hallway. All right. Um. Then he'll start by going here, then opening this door. All right. Then he would say. There's a hallway here. It continues pretty far off more doors. Looks like a mostly empty bed chair. All right. And... Step in, just do a quick peer around, and also clear the hallway a bit, and that'll mm -hmm. be my turn. Mm -hmm. Raya. All right. Raya is going to have to go a long way. And the Field Defender will just chill out over here for right now. Okay. It's my turn. Quickly uh, doing a thing. All right, Ivy's turn. Already moved. Okay. Sorry, I'm muted. Yep. Damn it! I was saying I I didn't know you were saying you were doing something until after I started moving. Mm -hmm. But she's just going over that corner and hiding for now. Gotcha. Girl soldier. All right, Fergus. Okay, so spending a bonus action dash to this door and I'll open it. Okay. Moment. I'm not sure if my stealth will still apply when I'm opening a door if there's an issue. Probably not. Yeah. But it's okay because this is another empty bed chamber. Gotcha. Judging how few things look uh, tossed in here, it looks like someone hopped out of bed really fast. Okay. Um, to start cleaning some space, I'll just use my action. I'm not going to actually move. I'm going to just use the action to take a dodge act in case something pops out. Gotcha. Drum. All right, Thrum, moving quickly. If he double moves, can he still open this? Yep, uh, item interaction or object interaction, so it's all good. Oh, 
the darkness grows. I know the tool's giving me headaches here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. There. Yeah, you have to like click on it and then click on it again, and then sometimes it still doesn't want to work. Yep. There we go. Another empty bedroom. Okay. Tasco. Mm -hmm. Is there any sort of uh, latch or locking mechanism on this hatch? There is a latch, but there's no lock on the latch. Hmm. Guess who has two thumbs and can cast magical locks? <laughs> this guy! <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll latch it and then move over to uh, ready in action in case anyone comes downstairs. I sincerely doubt they will, but yeah. Okay. Miku will stay with you to guard the stairs. He'll ready and attack. Alright. Nogrum. Nogrum will continue the push. Uh, get to here and peer down the hall. Okay. Hell, this hallway goes on forever. He'll continue on. That's 40 feet. And open up this door. Okay. Wait, the door you're on or the door that's away from you? Is that a door I'm on? Oh, yeah. Sorry, the door I'm on. Oh, the door you're on? Yeah. Yeah, because I can see the door here, mm -hmm. here. Yeah, there's there's lots here, of doors. Here, and then there's these three down here. Uh, you pop open this door, and you're greeted by a familiar face. Uh, Gary Mal Malfour, the diplomat to uh, Fasterval. <laughs> oh, God, he's, he's, just he's just buckling his belt with his rapier on it when he sees you come in, and his mouth is slightly agape. Oh, God, he's just to call us mudblood. Run! <laughs> <laughs> ah, funny meeting you here. I believe we have some unfinished business, eh? You have to parlay. I know we're going to say it loud enough for uh, his companions to hear. Alright. Yeah. That's his initiative, 14. So I'll put him just after Tasco. <laughs> In the meantime, Freya. Um, let's see, it's pretty, um, I think Freya at this point, uh, we already got plenty of people up ahead and they're just going to open the doors before me anyways, so I'm just going to prepare an attack for if anything comes down the stairs. Gotcha. And yeah, that's it. Okay. One moment here before I take the turn. Uh, on I Ivy's turn, she says kind of to Taskle and Freya, because she's looking at the same stairs that you guys are. She was thinking, so there's definitely more drow in here than just those ones that we fought. Indeed. A thought occurred to me as I'm hiding here. How long does it take you guys to normally put on your armor? Oh, they're probably better armored now. Yeah, so that that could be a problem. Anywho, you can take whatever action you want to uh, there, Richard. Oh. I'll just go into this corner and maintain stealth. I don't See her charging through. Mm -hmm. And I'll have her hold an attack if she sees anything, but otherwise. Okay. And 
Ryan Fergus. Twenty feet action to open or um, use object or whatever to open this door. Yep. As I'm walking by. Another empty bedroom. Yep. Um, with my dash, I'll get into this room as I heard Noldrum call out. Mm -hmm. And be like, sup? And then I stab him. You! <laughs> and, then, and then you stab him. So take, take your shot. That'll hit. So, stab him. Did I imagine this moment not be sneak attack? I, I don't... Yeah, well... I mean, I still had my roll from before, but I never. Let's see, I broke. I never broke stuff, but I opened doors. So, you know, what? just for hilarity of it, uh, I'm gonna say it's a sneak attack. Move. So, 15 points of damage. Yeah, you just run it, say stop. He goes, ah, it's you, and then you just stab him in the stomach and he crumbles <laughs> over. <laughs> um, I would actually not like to kill this guy if I could just knock him unconscious. By the way. Yeah, that's fine. If I could choose to do that. Yeah. You can. I'll just uh, put him at zero instead of dead. Yeah. How would you leave him alive? You don't know that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so he just grabs his stomach, crumples to the ground, and he's out. Yep. <laughs> it's okay. I hit him with the blunt side of the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> He, he was. Uh, He's got a blunt too. <laughs> he wasn't very uh, difficult to fight. In case you're wondering, he was CR one eight. I imagine he's a diplomat, and not the fighty type as much. He had the parry reaction. Not that it would do him any good against a twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that'll be my turn. All right, throw him. All right, here Nogram call out. He's gonna. Head down here. Ah, good work. Just in time to see him hit the deck. <laughs> yep, good work. Then I guess he would continue moving on. He's kind of trying to keep up the pace. Yep. He moved here and opened that door. Okay, one second. I actually need to check the PDF for something real quick. I don't remember what most of these rooms are, but I don't want to short you something if there's something. Ooh, I found a named room. <laughs> I mean, maybe. You also <laughs> might have found a trap. It's it's amazing how many of these um, rooms are just like... How high up is the stair oh. uh, that Tesco's at? Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, that's not good. Sorry, what, what were you saying? How high up is the stair that Tesco is currently at? It's just like a spiral staircase. Yeah, but I mean, like, right how there. how high? Just like ten feet to the next floor? Or? Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah. And then it just keeps going. Mm. Uh, you kick open the door, and it's the privy. Oh shit! I found, I found the shooter. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, let me check the PDF. I'm like, what was this again? I don't remember what's in this room. And then it's like, it's the shitter. I'm like, ah, oh, that's great. <laughs> He's going to close the door back. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a much funnier place to find Malthorn now that I thought about it. <laughs> right. Yeah, buckle oh, well. <laughs> a little post-battle dump. Or a little you're, about -battle to, dump. You're, you're about to go the way of Lannister. Hey, you're going to be light on your feet. Just gonna take him off the turn order. Oh, would have been so such a nice quip too. Maybe at another time. <laughs> hey, All right, go ahead and burn some more daily resources to stay at fighting weight. Plus nine, almost at full. Can you send the hammer up and just start swinging wildly? <laughs> <laughs> we go up. There's just holes punched in the, in the walls. That, <laughs> yeah. I think technically I have to see what I'm telling it to swing at. Yeah. Yeah. I like it though. Just roll a one d seven, whichever direction <laughs> swings in. It's technically unkillable. 
that feels like a weirdly powerful thing then. <laughs> is All it right. what level spell is it, out of curiosity? It's two, I believe. Oh god. Make you still you go. Uh yeah, he's gonna hang there. Alright. No girl. Uh free action to open this door? Yep. Another empty bedroom. Alright. Move action to go down here. Can I use a standard action to open up this door? Yeah, cool with that. Thrum leans against the door and says, Shit, are in there, don't open it. Uh, the one he was on. Mm-hmm. A larger, but another empty bedroom. Clear. Just got one more door. We can probably start heading back. Fergus, catch up by the stairs. Let's keep pressing the advantage while we can. Gumbert's laughing. I missed the magic item in the in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back to search. More the thunder of destiny. <laughs> uh, of course, the fecal the fecal matter of Gregor the Fortuitous. <laughs> the fecal you, you master. Reach your hand deep into the latrine and pull out the staff of penetration. <laughs> no, you see, there, there's a dagger that goes with the stab shroom, but you don't want to hear the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> the shark sure. shark. The stool of contemplating. Actually, that's better than what I was thinking. The, uh, so, yeah, the shark shard. Sh- I'm going to sh- actually make shanker. a magic item with some other campaign called the shark shard. <laughs> <laughs> Gives people a sickening condition in Pathfinder by making them spontaneously shit themselves. <laughs> yeah, there's still on mushrooms. I was thinking the shiitake shanker. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. That's good, too. Shit. That's good. Well done. All right. What you doing, Freya? Uh, until everyone's back, I'm still just gonna keep focus on the stairway. Okay. One moment. All right, Ivy. I'm just gonna remain stealth there. Um. Waiting to see if there's anyone going to attack. She doesn't really have anything to do right now. Okay. Fergus. Uh, I'm going to leave this guy here. Bonus action move. I can get to here. And I'll use my action to get to here. I basically want to put my weight on the trapdoor. Okay. Was there anything in there, or do we not check? No, no one checked. No we one didn't check it. I, I plan on locking this bitch to anyone but us. Mm-hmm. So if there's someone down there, they're not getting up. All right. Drum. Uh, free action, open the door. Okay. I assume this is the women's shitter. Nope. <laughs> uh, implying they don't have a unisex shitter <laughs> I mean if anything fuck you go into that shit if, if, if anything with the drought there would only be a women's shitter yeah <laughs> men don't have to shit no it, it's no they just go in there it's a, it's a make your eyes society yeah. I mean technically the guards you've been fine so far I've been co-gendered but anyway all right Haskell. All right. Well, I suppose one more round of ready to actions, because we're still waiting on Nogrim to get back at this point. <laughs> also, Fergus, I imagine, has announced his plan to lock the door. Yep. So I imagine Mickey's holding as well. Yep. Nogrim. Double move back. I'm here, I'm here, let's go. (laughs) Raya. Steel Defender, lead the charge again. All right. Uh, How 
How far up are these stairs? Uh, ten feet to the next floor. It would be ten. Do we want to go down up there? Do we want to go downstairs? I can lock this on, on this side. And if we investigate down there, we can also use it as a makeshift recovery area. Up the stairs, I imagine. Okay. They've gone up. Yeah, I would. I think that would be an ill place to try to hide out. It's, Fair point. It would be 40 feet to get all the way to the top floor. Or 10 feet per floor. I see one floor at a time. Right. Aggro all the rooms. Right. And beat up to the next We floor. did it before. We could do it again. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we learned from the, st- the stone mushroom. Just aggro everything. <laughs> and run away. Okay. There's the steel defender going up. <coughs> I will. Yeah, the steel defender is going up. To floor number dos. Okay. Hold on. I'm just trying to get this thing working. There we What's go. What's behind door number two? Who did that guy turn into a frog? Oh, Fergus turned uh, into Fergus, a frog. Fergus, yeah. Yeah. The wizard. All right. So, you know, that would also be a good door to lock. <laughs> Looks like it's just a, uh, a stair room. Stairs still going up. Okay, that was 20 feet. Um, Send him up one more. Mind you, unlike your familiar, you're not seeing it. Uh, it totally, yep, yep. it totally can keep going if you wanted to. That's a valid command, mm. but it, you're not seeing. I'll I keep can going have, until you see enemy. Uh, but there is a door here. Do we not want to? Because if we go up, then we could have enemies coming up after us. That's true. Um. Yeah, I think because their turns happen at the same time. Frey is also going to. Move the 20 feet to end up over there. You want me to move your token for you? I got it. Okay, cool. And now I'll have the steel defender barge through this door if I can. Yep, you can. More twisty corridors. All right, on. Let me get this. I can all the old work. Hey, it actually did on my first try for once. I feel worried that we're going to the second floor while two of us are poisoned. Just think of it this way. This way it's two less of us who can get poisoned on the second floor. <laughs> I should didn't think of that. <laughs> that that's thinking with math. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, move to where your steel defender was going to be because he's going to get some attacks on him. What is that thing? It's a drow. Just like everything else in this place. Alright, so it'll be two hand crossbows, but they're each... or Sorry, three hand crossbows because including the agent. But they're all going to get 1d4 because that's a drow sergeant. He's giving you commands. So... Mm. One... That'll hit, so I won't bother rolling the 1d4. <laughs> Two. Damn. Deal. Uh, I'll roll the last one. Uh, so, I think those all hit your steel defender? Uh, I don't think the last light crossbow does. That 17. Really 17. Oh, yeah, 17. Yeah. Yeah, it's 1d4. Yeah, it does. They all hit. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. Light. Sorry. Well, that last one should have been a hand crossbow, not a light crossbow. That's on me. Hold on. I'll re-roll that one. Uh, still hits. Yep. So, six piercing damage, ten piercing damage. I just realized I can click the attack button, too, to do roll damage. And then four more piercing damage. So, 20 damage total. Oof. Better hit oh. than us, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, because right. in a short rest, she can bring it back. Mm-hmm. Uh, the skill defender is going to attack the drow that he's next to. All right. Uh, 
that will miss. And then Freya is going to... Yeah, it's a very wounded agent, by the way. It's the one from downstairs. Mm. Mm, do I want to use a spell right now? Do I want to use fairy fire is what I'm thinking. Uh... I say try to take a shot and try to finish off the wounded one. Yeah. Come into the doorway. Take two shots at the one that the steel defender is in combat with. Alright. Both at disadvantage. Because I'm going to be at disadvantage this whole time. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Mm hmm. So those all miss. Drow agent will take another hand crossbow at the steel defender. That'll hit. Yep. For five piercing damage. One moment. Alright. Ivy. Um, she'll go ahead and start heading down. And, or not, uh, down up to go to Freya. So that would be 35 feet of movement to get here. Um, if she moved to here, would she be having a line of sight with the one with the steel defender? I'll say yes. Okay. This is what the hell. Mm. Um, would she still be stealthed? Uh, yeah, I'll say yeah. Okay, so it'll be a flat because roll. it's still. Uh, oh yeah, it, it's still. Um. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you're talking about advantage versus yeah, so just yeah. flat. I'll I'll still say still. Uh, it'll miss anyone. Yep. But that's the uh, turn. Draw soldiers' turn. Um. They both drop their light crossbows. This one is going to move up to engage the steel defender. So it'll be two short sword attacks on the steel defender. One, uh, if I even if I got a fourteen, that wouldn't hit steel defender, right? What's it say, Mike? You muted. Mike, what's the uh, what's the steel defender's AC? Uh, steel defender's AC is fifteen. Okay, so I won't bother rolling the one d four. That's one attack, right? Uh, that one will hit though. Eight piercing damage on the steel defender. He's down. <laughs> all right, that's all their turns. Uh, however, this door, this door, and this door first open. Hold on one second here. This is going to take me a minute. Sounds like an opportunity for fairy fire. All of a sudden. Man, where's the wizard with fireball when we need it? <laughs> right. They're, because they're f firing off some mad shit for people within fireball distance. Mm. Yeah. And if nothing else, I could bust out a shatter. I'm recalling saying that that would have been a good door to lock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one that Frey is on? He's still good. Mm. Yeah, that would have been good. Just taking me a second here. Yeah, but now with the Steel Defender down, it's not like we can just leave it there. I mean, we could, but... What are they going to do? Eat it? They might eat it. They might destroy it. Double destroy it. There we well, go. Now, now it's just offline. Mm -hmm. Just need to reboot into safe mode. That's BS. Just pull the cord and hit power again. Safe mode, schmafe mode. Says the guy whose laptop is so fucked up, I have to have it plugged in to use it. Same, same with me. You just need to get a new battery. Yeah, that's what it tells me. Uh, it's just so you know, these guys are a little bit jumpy because you attack the middle of the night, so they're all taking the dodge action. Mm -hmm. So 
Don't worry, you're not getting volleyed this round. That's still a lot of dudes. Holy floop. Yes. Yeah, it's a four to group up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jesus. Again, no. we're in a four. Yeah, yeah. no, it's. Like, we, didn't we get the number somewhere in between, like, almost like pushing 50 or something that mm-hmm. we were going to be in this base? So. How long does it take you to lock a door? I can do it as an action. It might not be a bad move. And they're all armored, too. Keep in mind, they can still bust down the door. It just makes it so they can't unlock it. It'll it'll take them time to bust down the door, though. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, so long as the sergeant exists, they all get 1d4 on their attack rolls. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. I assume we're getting oh. calls of, oh god, oh god, there's so many of them from up top. Uh, you hear the foot, you hear the thunder of the footsteps. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to roll all these sergeants' initiatives one second. I forgot to do that. Watch to your guys. If there are a lot of them, it might be best to draw them down. Oh, seven. So it'll go just before the agent. Here we go. So. Fergus. I mean, if uh, Ivy ditching, will call out if no one else is. Yeah. Mm. Ditching my plan to lock this one, I am going to go up. So 15. It, I can get up to the... And I'll just go back to here to get some room. This guy is the one in the very back I can see that's kind of weak, right? Yep, you can see him. Just like I got, just, like, like one hand on the wall, and all these drows surging into the room. <laughs> I just caught. I see you, bitch. I'm gonna fire at him. Fergus is going street. So I see you, bitch. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I imagine I wasn't stealth. So yeah. Eh. Uh, thrum. All right, Ron is going to start making his way towards the stairs. Has anyone called out like what we're seeing? Or yeah, I imagine Ivy has if no one else has. Yeah, and when I get up there, I'm like, oh god, there's so many of them. Bring them down. Um, by the way, just FYI for um, future things, I'm pretty sure Taskel can have his spectral hammer go through the the floor or yeah. the ceiling. This is the floor and go up to save on movement. Because it is spectral, as long as you can see the area you're bringing it to. The drum's going to go large and ready an attack. After he yells, bring him down. As in, bring him down the stairs. Um, I guess this way. Going to have to shove Miku, I guess. All right. Well, he's got he's got some reach, so could he be right here and still hit? Yeah, if they are on the stairs spot. So okay. Yeah. Uh, task. Mm. Yeah, I was going to be able to get up there and into the room with movement, but um, that's looking like some bad real estate right now. Until you have to go chatter. And then they all make the saving throw. Right. Even if they do that, it's still pretty good amount of damage. Take half of 48. Yep. But it's two rounds before you can cast, right? Yeah. You have to double dash there, so why not try and bring it down? And task goes down. And we're up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Meanwhile, yeah. they can all shoot it free at next round. Well, task will close the door after he does his thing, can't he? It depends. Mm-hmm. So, I believe that does go before all of them. So. Yeah. I hope that go is to go downstairs. <laughs> so that'd be 10 feet to move the hammer up there. Yeah, we are. Are we ruling it? Can you go through walls and stuff? Uh, let me quickly pull up the spell. It sounds like I might be right. Um, 
I'll just pull up the spell. Floating spectral weapon. Uh, okay, here's how I'm going to rule it, because the idea of it going through walls does sound cool. I'll say it can go through walls, but you still have to have line of sight to attack with it. Yeah, that, that, well, that's what I was saying before. Is yeah. As long as you have line of sight, you can have it go through a wall, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, it's only got 10 feet more movement either way. So, there, and I guess I'll have it attack the drow to the north. Okay. Meanwhile, I guess I'll use dodge, because... Uh, <laughs> That's a lot of drow. You can double move back down. That'll hit. Okay. He's bloodied. We need to turn up the bass on these bitches. Where's Nolgar when we need him? Mm -hmm. I'm on my way. (laughs) Miku. Uh, Miku is confused. And... It's going to stand here and look at Thrum, and Thrum isn't flinching. <laughs> All right. Olgrim. Go defend the heir apparent. And uh, 30 feet there, 40 to get up here, and 50 to shift. We'll go here. There's nobody listening. I said bring Actually, we'll down. <laughs> No one's listening. And okay. that is what I could do for now. Okay. So, I'm going to add a little icon on this thing. Freya. There's a lot of drow in there. <laughs> oh, so I'm starting to get the feeling that I need to come back. Actually, yeah. Look at this like, There are only 17 crossbows pointed at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not that many, actually, when you think about it. Most of them yeah. just have their swords. Well, I'm not now. counting the three who probably have swords <laughs> that are right next I to I mean... Can you close amazing. the door and brace it shut for a round? Yeah, I'm, I'm closing the door. <laughs> yeah. And spend your action to brace it, make sure they can't open up easily. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, first is... We gotta wait for him. <laughs> Hmm? Yeah, I guess I'm. I don't have a great strength. I don't think. Yeah, I have a zero, but uh, unless you have something better to do, I mean, you have spells. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I could cast fairy fire and then close the door. Yeah, because closing the door is an object interaction. Bracing it uh, is an action, I'll say. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, you know, closing the door will ultimately do nothing if you don't brace it, because they could just use a free action to open up and. Yeah, okay. I'll close the door and brace it. Okay. So. Drow Sergeant, she. The question is, which way does this door open? Does it open? Um, that way? I would say it probably opens into the stairway, so you're bracing it from the right way. Okay. I'd say either brace it or uh, go full defensive, either way. <laughs> Alright, so the Sergeant moves there. The agent stays put. Second. I mean, if you think about it, guys, you only have as many squares as the, that are around you that they can attack. Of yeah, none of them the ha- yeah but all the rest could shoot at you. Well, none of them have spears. Also, spears aren't even reach weapons in this, are they? Uh, long spears are. Do we, they actually have a dis- difference between long spears and I believe regular so. spears? Either way, reach weapons. They do have reach weapons, I know that. Yeah. They do have reach weapons, but I know... I know a glaive is reach. So yeah. it's basically the same deal. More or less, yeah. Uh, spears are thrown, though, so... Uh, yeah, glaive, heavy slashing. Ah, uh, halberd. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Halberd, reach two-handed. That's the one. Mm-hmm. All right. So... That's what I eventually want. Ivy. Oh, let's go ahead and stand back here and prepare to fire if the door gets opened. 
Um, I will say, just to float this out there, so normally since the door is in um, Freya's favor, I would say she has advantage on the opposed athletics to keep the door from being forced open. Mm -hmm. However, because she's poisoned, uh, that would just make it normal. If someone did the assist action, then it would be at advantage again. Mm -hmm. So the help action. I don't think Ivy would be able to really assist though with the locations, would she, or would she be able to? I mean, I would, I would say if she was the adjacent. I was to say if she's just chairing a corner, that would be enough. I'm not. Everything's so like loosey goosey with space in this game when you really think about it. I just don't know how that worked with the advantage and disadvantage because one will balance out the other, so it's going to be a flat roll regardless. Well, technically speaking. As written, the help action does not care if you have advantage or disadvantage yourself. It just gives someone else advantage. So I know, but the the, way, the reason I was asking you is because, as per the rules of 5e, oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure if it, if she has disadvantage and advantage to balance it out, it doesn't matter how much advantage you give them. Yeah, it's it oh, does. Well. It's yeah. well. Okay, well, if yeah. someone else helps her, they can use a higher strength roll. If they have it. Okay, then that definitely won't be Ivy. <laughs> That's that, that's sorry. That's all I was wondering about. Because okay, so so she'll here's how we're, it's Go draw ahead. soldier time. This is how we're doing it, Michael. It's going to be an opposed athletics. Um, they're getting, giving each other the help action, so they have advantage. Now I'll let you know their strength is not fantastic. They have I a was, plus zero to this roll. Yeah, I was, those three and Drow aren't really known for being particularly beefy. Yeah, so you have it normal because as the door's in your favor, you've mm-hmm. got advantage. Um, All right. so, so we'll see who, who succeeds here. This is basically the shove action, mm-hmm. if you guys are wondering. Um, so I will roll first. You're looking to beat a 14. Not impossible. Mm-hmm. Is this affected by poison? Uh, you just rolled normal. Because yeah. normally you have advantage, but since you have disadvantage, you just have normal then. Yeah. All right. It's a strength. Let's go above a 14. Eight. Mm. Okay. Oof. All right. So they they shoulder happens. they shoulder into the door, and it, and it slams open. You get pushed back five feet. So I'm going to let you have a choice of which adjacent square behind you you get moved to. Uh, let's move there. Um, as he's shouldering through, Ivy will get a shot at him before she moves, though. Absolutely. Nope. Nope. It would be a disadvantage anyway, but... Yeah, but you can't get roll of Miller in the natural one. Yep. All right, so let me see. Did I remember? I thought I remember. Uh, swarm attack calculator. This is easier than bogging down roll 20 with this. All right, yeah. let's see. Size, there will be. Let's okay. And there would be two less attacks since, you know. Yes, I, I took that into account. Okay. Um, the this one and this one aren't getting to get a shot in, and yeah, yeah some of these don't actually have angles. So, and that's it's they're firing a task. I know he went um, dodge actions. So yeah, what's your uh, AC there, Taskal? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, so just factor that in. Seven. I just rolled one off uh, rather than individually because that would take ages. Yeah. Are you using that swarm calculator I sent yeah, you? Yeah, I'm, I'm using the swarm calculator real quick. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to come in handy when we assaulted a fortress. So, 19 uh, at, I guess, technically disadvantage. All right, I think this should be fine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. So, of the five attacks, all of them missed. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Just shield, shield up, all these arrows just pinging against it. I, um, Freya gets shoved back, she stumbles backwards, and then just a volley of hand crossbows, <laughs> like rain, go clink, 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 clink off of uh, Taskal. Fergus! 
So I quest- switch my enchantment bonus to my shield after that first session. <laughs> um, so question, I remember I have an itching bomb. What does that incur to them if they um, were to get affected by it? I believe it's disadvantage is what I said. Okay, I'm going to throw it in the middle of that crowd. <laughs> Just want to get right in here. You, you, you want to hold off until... Because again, we'll see how many are left standing after Shatter. I mean, yeah, I can hold like hold it and... I'm- yeah, you can hold action. Once again, still kind of surprised you're not just running forward to closing the door and then locking it. Yeah, they're going to bust it open. And again, um, the Steel Defender, do we actually want to leave it there? I mean, they're not attacking it currently. Yeah. So. Uh, for now, I'll just actually delay my action until after um, Nolgrim then. Gotcha. Yeah, obviously we're not just going to leave it here but once we've... Actually, I'll delay until after Freya, so that way it's before any enemies happen. Mm-hmm. I'm basically just waiting for to see what my party does. Gotcha. Thrum. All right. Thrum's going to begin cursing uh, just nonstop. And head up. Shrink down, head up. Nope. Actually, can you move him? My mouse is the roller button won't let me drag right now. Um, 15. I believe to get here would be 15 feet. My math is not terrible. All right. He's going to keep heading up. Right in. All right. God damn it. <laughs> God, God damn it. Bye bye. Why are there so many sons of bitches? Drow. And, uh,. Hey. Bonus action rage okay. and swing at one. All right, probably the directly in front of you one that's wounded. Yep. Does rage do anything for Not attacks? Not attack rolls, only okay. damage. And it gives you resistance stuff, but it does hit. And then I know if you, as you get later levels of it, you can do like reckless attack, but that's probably not a good idea here. That will kill him. Wait, out of curiosity, your favorite enemy in Rage, wouldn't that increase since your proficiency bonus increases? Uh, rage I is think a you just get a flat oh, okay. plus two yeah. to uh, Rage damage and a flat plus two to favorite enemy. At the ah, I thought those increased with proficiency. Never mind. Uh, they didn't want to have them increase when you're not leveling in the class, I'm pretty sure. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. All right, yep. You just smash into one and kill it. <laughs> and I think that was the end of his movement. Yeah, 15 to get up the stairs. That's 10 more feet. Yep. And we're slow ass dwarves. Mm-hmm. Although I think you're raging, so you have an extra 10 feet, don't you? Or does that not happen yet? Uh, no, they don't get fast movement until another level. Okay. okay then. I don't know what a good rage icon is. Oh, yeah, I forgot to. Use. You just use the red icon. Yeah, I forgot to give a good uh, rage one. Okay, so, Taskal. Yeah, now the choice is do I want to get in front of this guy or. Uh, no, but in the meanwhile, might as well use this turn to attack. Uh, Hammer time. Yeah. With the <laughs> oh. yeah. That'll hit. And it just and beat you. <laughs> just for spot. Yeah, the question is, do I want to get in front of him with dodge or stay back or what? Are we gonna try and close the door? <laughs> or... Well, I can't now with Rum there, so we're going in. We're going oh, for it. Into a pool full of minnows. Here comes the shark. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just getting aggressively on edge as we fight. Right. <sighs> I start getting. I start getting a foul mouth. Rome just starts getting angry at us. Oh, when freaking does a line of cocaine real quick, slaps their face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, just makes me think of the. Uh oh, Michael left. Oh, he's just taking a call real quick. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> it just makes me think of your character, Gombo, and the when they had the wrath feelings, and they just started ripping up the planks of wood. <laughs> 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 what would someone do with a lot of rage, but not the physical strength to do anything? Just to the world around. <laughs> All right, you pansy elven bastards, go in dodge. So, cause, Stop right. trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> yeah, gotta need it. Oh fuck. <laughs> Here comes TPK. <laughs> nah. Dogram, uh, kill them all. Working on it. All right, Don't worry. If, if anything happens, I'll leave you all and run away. <laughs> Don't worry. I will leave. Don't worry. There's another three floors. All right. So that was 10 for Miku to get there, I believe. He's got 30 feet. He's Okay. So he will 15, 20. 30, start raging. Yeah, he's got his no, own... No, uh, no, 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 Danger zone. You, you can... I'll let you guys do an undo if you want to. Danger yeah. zone. So, <laughs> uh, Don't get too close. Uh, can he just delay now? Um, He's already moved. Alright, no, no. I'll do this. 15, 20, 25. There's that general down below that there we got with. The sergeant. And he will throw his spear at that sergeant. Gotcha. Rage throw. Yeetus, delete us. <laughs> oh, yeah. He'll bonus action rage first. Mm-hmm. And then chunk his. Um, can I say, as he ran up the tunnel, he pulled a javelin out and yeah, held his spear in his other hand, and he's going <laughs> to throw this javelin. I'm cool with that. I'm pretty sure his fists do more damage than a spear anyway. Yeah, that'll hit. Make her cast magic missile. <laughs> Smooth ten damage. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, Miku has like a a aura that he has when he rages, so be sure to read that. I think I wrote that down. Yeah, the spore protectors. Mm-hmm. That's the only one, right? Yeah. Okay. So that guy's got hindered attacks. Then, if you want to put a mark on him. Yep. Um. Ancestors of the mushroom spores. I was just kind of saying it was just a bunch of mushrooms gunk getting in their face. Yeah. Pulls the sp- the javelin out. And there's a bunch of mushrooms growing in there. Mm. <laughs> that ain't gonna heal, right? Oh, I need a tetanus shot. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, someone invent that. <laughs> Nogram. All right, stepping up. He'll call out. Honored Smith, show them the might of the dwarven people and cast shatter right here, ten feet radius. Uh, so all these guys. Can you just use the draw tool and make me a square real quick because I'm going to yeah. figure out how I'm going to do all these saves. So ten foot radius, I believe, is from here to here. Yeah, how I understand is ten foot radius is. Um, Wait, that's not a twenty foot radius. No, because it's no, that's a, a twenty center. foot diameter. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a ten foot. If it's a 10 foot by 10 foot area, then it's a cube, like fairy fire. If it's a radius, yeah. pick one point and it's 10 feet out. I always get those mixed up. Yeah, me too, because I always used to think that a 5 foot radius was lame because it was one square, and then I realized it was all squares around one mm-hmm. square. Um, okay, so obviously the agent is just going to... Well, it's a dex save, correct? Uh, constitution. Constitution, okay. Uh, agent poor steel gonna, defender. He's going to roll on his own. Uh, he fails. So let's see... Um, no, I'm going to do three saves for the soldiers because I divided uh, that section up. And did... Would it help if Nogrim did damage first? So as you save, you can go ahead and take it. Huh? Do you guys want me to roll damage now and see if they are left standing even after if they made their save? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. 15. Uh, yeah, that'll definitely need to see if it saves. I mean, the this okay. agent is dead. And he only had nine HP. So. All right. One. Pass. Two. Uh, pass. Three. I mean, I imagine 17. Yeah. yeah. Uh, DC is 15. Okay. So.
then everyone else takes. Not right, I'm back. But seven. Now we swatted five elves with one blow. Fortunately. Um, if you split it between three, shouldn't that mean two more are dead? Because if there, that'd be four, four, and then four. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to have them be in the back line where all the other ones are dead. Yeah. And now I have to go through the task of taking seven health off of everyone. In the meanwhile, this delay brought to you by Shatter. <laughs> and then after that, my itching bomb gets thrown. <laughs> there you go. Which I'm pretty sure is just a five foot area around somebody yeah. I hit. But... I believe it's a DC 10 to hit the ground. Yeah, I'm going to try to aim it right here so it'll hit these bitches. Yep. I'm looking at Freya and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll just I'll just use my short bow attack because it's arranged. Okay. So that'll hit the area. Yep. I'm just still working on the trying to get all their health down. No worries. So the shatter just destroys some and like shatters a bunch of stone in the room and all of a sudden like you just see this <laughs> this pouch just fly through the air and a bunch of white powder just <laughs> Magic dust, bitch. <laughs> Wait, was that our stash? <laughs> <laughs> How do these dwarves know this ancient drow fighting tactic? You know, I just want to point out with that it's... shatter, you know who's feeling really good? This guy. Right? <laughs> Although I did deal 131 points of damage between all of them this round. I know, I just think it's hilarious <laughs> that the, the giant spectral ghost dwarf appears and brings the hammer down and all this crunching of pain, and then there was one guy off to the side that's like, Woo! I was out of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's Freya's turn. Uh, and where do you say not to get so close? Um, I hit it here, so it hit all these guys. All right. I'm not sure if there's a save involved to it or not, but uh, it's not because if I remember correctly, I think it lasts for uh, a one. one round. One round. That's fine. Right. Hey, hopefully that's, that's all we'll need. Alright. Kill them all for you. Since we've completely abandoned too? the idea of locking this door. Is this guy also itchy? No. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he would be, huh? They just can't control themselves. Like their free hands just start scratching. And I'm gonna try to put two in this guy. It's like me after an eight hour ca car ride. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dang that. That Disadvantage, really. Condition. Yeah, poisoned condition is bitch. Is a I mean, I could have told you that. Give you a disadvantage on all your attempts. Yeah. It's like the bane of um, rogues, for sure. But at least you're awake for the fight. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, yeah, I'm coming to think of it. I need to actually check something, because there's the medicine skill is often forgotten. We do have some antitoxin I forgot about. Yeah, that, that might have helped. Yeah, she. Um, Ivy has one antitoxic. I, I wouldn't be opposed to a breather after this fight, anyways. But uh, we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. Perhaps not necessarily in that order. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the sergeant is going to step up to attack Miku with her short sword while giving commands for everyone else to focus fire. So, one sword attack here against Miku. 14. That hits. Alright. Oh, sorry. She has disadvantage because the um, effect. Mm -hmm. I think the oh, it's against anyone is only else. if she attacks somebody else. 
Gotcha. Well, it's nine piercing damage halved anyway. Yeah. Gotta love that half damage from a barbarian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the only thing that's kept Thrum alive this entire fucking um, <laughs> book. Like uh-huh. he's gotten hit more times than people have been attacked. Maybe he's turned. Give him a second yes, he here. has. He's a beefy fellow, and actually, a lot of it's the temporary hit points he gets from being big, and then plus pair. How many times you can? <laughs> it's unlimited. Oh wow! So, so he just basically it. once he goes big, he can't move. I gotcha. Five feet at a time, to be exact. Yeah. And it, there's really no benefit to it other than the temporary hit points is very temporary nice. Temporary hit points and, and extra damage and yeah. increase in damage. There's plenty of benefits to it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's really no reach, benefits so to actually. it outside of the increased reach, the temporary hit points, <laughs> and the extra damage. It, it, it's really just aesthetic if you think about <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> outside of the fact that it's basically what my build is based about. <laughs> I I it's it kind of reminds tie, me, but yeah. It, it kind of reminds me of the uh monk of the Iron Mountain where you're trading your movement speed for uh powers basically. I remember you making a character with it was like that and you were just standing there just taking all the blows. Yeah, because if you stood in one square for more than one round, your AC went up like 4 points or something. It's somehow still more useful than Bass's ultimate AC tank. Oh god, don't don't even get started with that guy. Well, yeah, because even though my character was an archetype which traded move speed for AC, I didn't just stand in one place the whole time. Yeah. It, was just, it was so sad because he's like, guys, nothing can hit me. And we're like, it has reach. It's punching us over you. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Ivy's I turn described... or you said you were doing something? Uh, no, it's Ivy's turn. Okay. I remember I described that monk as at when they were getting their AC bonus, they like sunk two inches into the ground. <laughs> Animus. Yep. And that's she'll actually use her movement to go around this corner and try to hide from people. Hmm? All right. Well, it'll be a flat roll, but it's still twenty five. Okie dokie. So, uh, they're going to focus fire on Taskal. Uh, you said you took the dodge action, right, Taskal? Yes, indeed. Okay, so you're going to get four crossbow bolts. Um, oh, right. This. That's uh, all the mist again. However, now the melee attacks come in. Mm-hmm. Uh, because this guy, I'm just going to move uh, the steel defender off to the side. Just remember he's there. These guys are going to close in. Uh, this guy is going to be here. That's one, two, three, five, six. Okay. And then his sword sword. Same damage. Uh, two hit for a total of 13 damage. Mm-hmm. I mean, that could have been a lot... Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Could I, have I rolled all that at disadvantage. So. Okay. Um, it could have been a lot worse with how many are attacking. Oh okay. yeah. I'm gonna just start clearing away dead bodies here. For a second. Okay. okay, but that turn isn't over yet, uh, because uh, Fergus, you hear footsteps coming down the stairs. Lovely. Uh, looks like we got attack rolls to do because they had movement left over. It's a good thing you guys can't see me, huh, friends? <laughs> <laughs> we can see you. Fuck. 
All right, so this will just be three normal short sword attacks. One, two, three. Those look like those on? A you. Oh, yeah, two of those will have any hit. One, two. So for a total of ten damage. Uh, and there's definitely more coming down the stairs. But now that their turn is over, Fergus. Um, well, gonna attack this one with the stab shroom. Natural one. Hope for natural one. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, that, that will miss. And then I'll dagger the same guy. Also miss. Cannot hit anything today, so that'll <laughs> be my turn because I'm stuck in a corner. <laughs> Dice attorney against us. Rum. Add the rum of beer into the belly of the beast. Bring them to us. Sons of bitches. Step back down here and try and help save the king. Hmm. Strategy of a child. Damn son of... And can he... Is there room there for him to go large? Uh, no. That'll miss. I was curious how this was all going to go down. <laughs> I mean, you're doing well. There's a rather large pile off screen of dead bodies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Pascal. <sighs> well, so I'm the hammer attack, the one in its square. Okay. <sighs> The hammer is turned against us. This truly is the darkest time. And that's its last. Uh, that's his last mm -hmm. round by the look of it. I will keep dodging because I don't <laughs> feel I have much of a choice there. You could withdraw uh, back in with us. There's not much room. We actually <laughs> might have to try for fight our way into this. Yeah, room. we're gonna have to fight our way into the room. I think. Uh, I would like to remind you guys, in case you ever are curious, uh, in fifth edition, there's a thing called a shove action, where rather than doing an attack roll, you just do an opposed athletics, and if mm -hmm. you win, you can move them five speed, five feet. And since it's fifth edition, you can move before and after. So I'm just floating that out there if you're trying to create space. Mm -hmm. uh, Unfortunately, where I am, there's not much space to create. Yeah. All right, Miku. All right, Miku the hunter is going to try and kill this guy. All right. Um, his fists do two d All right, so he's going to try yeah. and punch this guy in the face. Fists do more damage. <laughs> yep, that'll hit. He casts fist for 17 damage. 17 damage, just mulched. <laughs> And then Miku is going to move to here. Okay. Mm. You only get to do that crunch once or twice and thing, don't you? Nope. Crunch thing? The, the shatter. Yeah, well, I, I am out of spells until I take a short rest, unfortunately. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right. Um... I can't see how much health Fergus has left. Um, let's see. Yes. Roughly, roughly. Out of a scale of 1 to 47, I'm at 20. Okay. <laughs> um, Nolgrim is going to see the way things are turning and try to help push the way in and try to throw a pair of uh, um, Eldritch Blasts at these two guys. Okay. Roll it out. First one. Hit and kill. And second one. Hit and kill. And he tenderized them. They, they wouldn't, um, that second one wouldn't have killed them if you hadn't already brought yeah, them all back. Yeah, I, I fear as much, so. All right. And then he's going to uh, stay where he's at at the moment. Because of the, oh, actually, no. Oh. Yeah, he'll stay where he's at right now. Try to keep crowding, preventing them from crowding the area too much more. Mm -hmm. And hopefully holding a line for Fergus to pierce his way through. 
So that'll be my turn. Yeah. Oh. There's an easy way to do this. Uh, sorry. Ignore the disappearing drow for a second. I'm just doing a little bookkeeping. Uh, for mm -hmm. some reason, these uh, those were old tokens that I didn't attach the health bar to. Mm -hmm. So just quickly importing the ones that do. That way I don't lose my brain. <laughs> there we go. Done. All right. Now it is Freya's turn. All right. Coming down here. Putting two and this guy. Pick off the weaker ones. For, oh, never mind. I'm not sorry, able to see. Sorry, uh, which guy? The guy the that one was missed. Oh, okay. Like, that one. Yeah, go ahead. The guy that's me... currently cheering for not being hit. <laughs> yeah, I understand your argument, Loki, for yeah. hitting the ones that are weaker. However, this one is much too happy for him. So. <laughs> <laughs> he brought it on himself. This is what happens when you celebrate. <laughs> yes. Which is apparently nothing. Oh, that, hit. that one hits. Well, damage. Ten. Not dead, but very, very close. <laughs> Not happy anymore. He's like, oh shit, and pulls out his sword. I gotta fight too. <laughs> Sergeant that we know of is dead. Which makes it the knife for Iverson's turn. magic some other stuff too yeah i'm just waiting for gumbo to say it's the turn before i act yeah all right ivy's turn um is it an Action or a bonus action to drink the antitoxin? Uh, it's a bonus action. I treat it like a poison. Okay, so she'll drink that. Remove the poison's condition? Yep. And then with her action, she'll stab at the one between her and Fergus. Hit. For nine points of damage. Points of damage. Not dead, but very hurt. Yep. I kind of imagine her remembering the antitoxin is like that uh, Team Four Star sketch with the androids where they're like, oh, right, Super Saiyan. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and she will disengage the fuck out of the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, oh. disengage, as specifically word, means they provoke no attack of opportunity, yep. so she could just zip wherever. <laughs> yep, she's going to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, Drow soldiers. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Two of these are definitely still be on Fergus, but I'm going to give a quick wisdom save. Ha! No. Yeah, he's going to uh, disengage and chase Ivy. She <laughs> <laughs> just stabbed me in the butt! Get me out of your weak little bitch. Um, can I make an attack of opportunity? He, he, he used a disengage attack. Oh, okay, I didn't hear that part. My bad. Yeah. Uh, so, here will be two short sword attacks on Fergus before I go back to the swarm calculator for all the attacks <laughs> on Taskal. At this point, it's just a battle between Taskal and all those. They're like, we will hit him, damn it. <laughs> he can't I mean, kill all of us. Miku did kill their sergeant. <laughs> yeah, but they were focused. Yeah, those are both it. Oof. Don't even uh, know why I have AC. Nine uh, piercing damage. For reals, though, I might as well have the AC of a wizard because it's either nothing or everything. Right. All right. So let's see. That's also out. Four. Four of them will be ranged attacking. They do not have that bonus anymore. You're still dodging, right, Taskal? Yes. Yes. Um, one hits for five damage on the ranged attacks. And then there's only four of them for melee. I guess I could have just done it all at once. Whoops. And then no one manages to get through your armor on the melee attacks. However, the one that Freya shot is going to try to shoot Freya. How dare you shoot me? I shoot you. <laughs> and miss. 
All right. Now, before this turn is out, so many footsteps out. <laughs> It's it's definitely clear the entire fortress is awake by this point. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Cool. Okay. Fergus. I'm first gonna attack the one that's on the stairway. Actually, you okay. know what? No. I take it back. I'm gonna disengage first and get to here. And then I'm going to attack this guy right here. Gotcha. Yeah, it's going to be oh. one of those days today. Oh, man. Yeah. Room activates. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was going back to the page to see what that does. Mm -hmm. Just stay Let's where see. you were. Could have got them both and not us. <laughs> five feet in each direction. DC 15 constitution saving throw. Or take damage and become blinded for one round. <laughs> uh, so there's three of... Uh, don't forget, you guys all have advantage on this, but the drow don't, and there's yep. three of them. Uh, yeah. So... Oh, uh, you don't have to roll for Miku, uh, because he he's... Only changes character. Yeah, that was oh, okay. Well, you, su you succeed anyway, so... Uh, and then... One succeeds, two... Oh, I'm rolling for the sergeant. Ignore those. Sorry. Pass will succeed, so at least none of us are blinded or take damage from this. But one drow fails, another drow fails, and the last one succeeds. So how much uh, damage is it? Six poison damage, and those two are blinded. All right, so that's the northern two. So Doesn't now drop either they of them right? nope because they weren't at half health because they weren't hit by the shatter. Okay. Uh, but now they're at half health. And then I will continue my disengage movement. That was the seed. Let me go back to here. 10, 15, 20, 25 to here. Doesn't put me in much safer position, but at least I'm out of the room. Mm -hmm. Can Could he come down here? Since there's a guy standing there, Like, can we say that this is a movable space? It's not a movable space. Okay. I didn't think it was going to be because there's also two yeah. people right here. Yeah. Me neither, that's why I, but that's why I asked. Yep. Yeah, I'm trying to stay near the door because I can still lock it next turn if we can get it clear. Mm -hmm. All right. Drum. All right. Uh, what are these signs on those guys? They're blinded. blinded. As, you, as I stabbed at one of them, you just saw a puff of mushrooms <laughs> or spores. Just <laughs> and, they're, and they're all like, oh, my eyes. All right. Thrum's going to move up and attack this guy down here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Super dead. All right. And then he's going to keep moving. Right? Because you can do that in this yep. edition. You can do that. And I kind of love that, honestly. We'll get to, that's 15, 20, and he will enlarge. Use bonus action to enlarge. This room is slick with so much gore right now, by the way. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so much blood. <laughs> Like it's it's weirdly Lord of the Rings pretty, but like if this was like a forty k thing, I'd be like difficult terrain from gore. <laughs> <laughs> we lock the door later on. They come open it, and just it's like a sea tidal wave of blood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tasco. Right. Well, bonus actions. This is getting a little hairier. Bonus action: spirit weapon over Durr. Uh, I guess I'll have it start counterclockwise with the guy up top. Okay. That'll hit. That'll kill. And Tasco will continue to dodge because um, under 20 hit points. Are we drawing back or are we holding our ground? Push into this room. 
Tascule, shift over so I could close the door behind us. I thought you could close the door on the door space. Okay, okay. It's it's a five foot area. You can okay. especially with the only two there threatening it being blinded. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just need a clear line so I can fucking lock that bitch when it's shut. Mm-hmm. Miku. All right, Miku will attack this one above him. He casts fist. That will miss. I uh, think. Yeah, it'll miss. And he will step in to the fray. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so no grum. Hopefully, that's less people than the task. Alright. Um, yeah, he'll provoke an attack. Oh, let's see. No, I think he'll play it safe and disengage. Shift back and close the door behind him. Mm-hmm. You won't be able to brace it, though, unfortunately. Yeah. But. Hey, as long as you can keep it shut. Yep. Or, sh- or shut it back when they try to open it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it, uh, it opens into the room they're in. Yeah. <laughs> you go out there, you shut it, they open it. You shut it again the next time. <laughs> right. We don't want any. Guys, I can't do this forever. <laughs> Oh, it's like any video have... game ever where one side just keeps pressing A to keep force it closed. It's just the door animation yeah. just kind of gets stuck in tandem. Mm-hmm. First attack up here on this one. Okay. Right. And it's you can you can choose where to allocate your attacks uh, in between each roll if you mm-hmm. want. Because it's, it's not like Pathfinder. I'll miss. Yeah, yeah so I'm just going to attack the same one. Yep. <laughs> That'll hit. Huzzah. Six. Uh, that is just enough to kill it. I always I need the one shot so I can line up my double vision correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to get Freya some of that antitoxin. How does a crossbow? There's only the one. How does a crossbow bolt have a tracer? <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant here. One second. New sergeant here. Comes downstairs. Not doing a command yet. That's their turn. Because the door's <laughs> shut, obviously. Ivy. I'm um, going to attack this blind one because I think she'll have advantage on it. Yep. Just wait until I invent the towel marker light. <laughs> That's it. That'll kill. And then she'll step down here and attack with, with the bonus action against the one next to Fergus. Okay. Go for it. That'll hit. Oh, forget get the sneak attack. It's only one damage. Cause you uh, don't so add it's, just, the... it's just four piercing then? No, it's just one. Because I forgot to um, take off the dex because oh, okay. yeah, an doesn't. offhand attack and she doesn't have that feat. Doesn't kill them, then. Huh? Alright. Would have killed them even, uh, otherwise. So close. Yep. Alright. Here. I'm having to keep a pool of all the drow you killed this session for tallying up XP. <laughs> There's a... You guys are really going ham. Mm-hmm. Well, at this point, we were between a rock and a hard place. Mm-hmm. All right, so... I wanted to go downstairs. Well, you know, we got to go ham before our bacon's cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check something that what the blind condition does. Just the exact wording, so I know how this person reacts. Uh... I guess I could give. Okay, so it's gonna take one disadvantaged attack roll against, I guess, Taskle <coughs> while we flailing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we are going to get this one who will be attacking Miku with a sword at normal. 12 will miss. Misses. 
Uh, and then we will have these three here. The back line are still trying to shoot um, Taskal. So Does that provoke? Uh, no, it's not that type of game. Not in this edition. And you're still dodging, so you have disadvantage. None of them hit. And one last hand crossbow against Freya. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> uh, that will be 13 damage. Luckily for you, uh, this person was hastily getting dressed when the um, fort came under attack, so he did not have time to poison his crossbow bolts. So, cool. so you don't get poison poison. Yeah. Well, we've been, I, I thought about this earlier, and I forgot to mention it. Doesn't Freya have an ability that she can use a bonus action to heal her steel defender? Uh, if it was operational, it can heal. Oh, uh, it has to be operational. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's the it's not Freya that can heal it. It's a skill defender repairing itself. Gotcha. So if the skill defender can't take actions, it can't repair itself. Yeah, that's okay. what I was mixed up about. Real quick before you take your turn, I forgot. I got a few more here. I have mend, but that takes like five minutes. Or longer. It takes more than a combat. Maybe not this combat. <laughs> but it would be quite a long time. Whoa. Maybe not this combat. Just go in that back room and start mending with that many to go. All right, now it's Fergus's turn. I am going to hold until... Actually, no. No room's on this side, right? Yeah, yeah he's on this side and the door's closed. Um, I can go through ally spaces, right? Yep. So I'm going to disengage, go up to no room, touch the door with arcane lock, mm-hmm. and that'll lock it shut for anyone but us. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to step down here. Like, I'm like, excuse me, I touch it, just a weird arcane sigil comes on it, and I just move away. That should hold for a little while. Hopefully long enough. Yeah, you're already hearing the banging. Yep. That's my turn. The not good kind this time. <laughs> All right, Thrum. We open the door later. They they gave up and just resorted to debauchery. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Let's fuck. <laughs> Room for one more. <laughs> <laughs> Nogrim starts removing his armor. Uh, yeah. That was Thrum, and he's hitting this one that's above Nogrim. I mean, above Miku. Yeah, super dead. Just like, not even like body left. It's just viscera. There's dead oh, dead, and there's mostly dead. That was dead dead. I can put this guy back down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is as good as Throne gets. Raging, large, and his favorite enemy. <laughs> All right. Tactical. And a target-rich environment. Well, continuing the counterclockwise... Five against that top one. And, uh, uh, yeah, that'll hit. You you should have advantage. So why don't you roll again just to see if you? Oh, sorry, I was thinking of that. Yeah, no, it it uh it hits, but it doesn't kill him. Yeah, and I have advantage against the blind guy. You say because because yep. blinded you say. Yeah, it's... nine. That'll kill him. Huzzah. He just swings his sword. It clanks into the wall. He hits it another two times, and then you just hit him in the head with an axe. <laughs> All right, Niku. This is you, Cope. Yep, that's me again. <laughs> uh, Niku will swing at this one up here. And by swing, I mean cast fist. Lose fist. I think you mean cast whiff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Milgram, the um, door is sealed. All right. Keeping his back to... Well, yeah, he'll five foot step in. I guess there's a... Well, move in. 
Yeah, and uh, attack these two with an Eldritch Blast, one each. Actually, okay. are both of those ones that have been They're, they're all wounded. There's no okay. unwounded draw left. All right, then, yeah. First one, then the other. Uh, hit, hit, kill, kill. Sounds like we have a fair amount of company trying to get in here. Yeah, the door only lasts as long as they can take to break it down. How heavy is the door? Is it like a stone uh, door? It is a, a uh, actual metal door. Ooh, okay. That's what I'm So what you're saying is we'll be here all night. <laughs> uh, hopefully long enough to take a rest. All right. Raya. Raya is going to take the first shot at this one. Okay. I damaged that quite a bit. That'll hit. For 11. I'll kill. And then the second shot is going to be the only other one in the room. Hmm. That one will miss. All right. Uh, stuff is happening on the other side of the door that you can't quite make out. Ivy. Right, they're making out. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Short sword. That'll hit. That'll kill. And he's down. <laughs> and he's gone. Since we're out of immediate combat, can we take a quick bio? I'm going to rule that the uh, door isn't going to be broken down in this combat time, so I'll just uh, say we combat here for a second. Bio 2, then. Yep, yep. I'll do as well. I'll just like to let you guys know that the entire fortress ha- has had a chance to armor up. Now. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Mm-hmm. Hark, no. Alright, we're right back. And now we're stuck in the middle of the fortress, too. Mm-hmm. Well, definitely uh, got to burn two charges from the Stein to heal Fergus. Probably the third to heal Freya. Even though we're going to have hit dice here. Or else I have two potions. Didn't you get a wand from somewhere? Acid uh, splash. Five charges, yeah. I thought it was acid, acid arrow. arrow. Yeah. yeah. Range attack for 4d4 acid damage and then 2d4 acid damage on the next turn. Yeah, if I was a tank. Yeah, I'm just saying if you ever wind up needing the range, that's probably better than your. Um, well, your I'm out of, bow. Well, I got two third level spells, but I'm pretty much out of hammer at this point. You can upcast it into a third level spell. Yeah, that's I think it does more damage if you do it that way too. Yeah, yeah. What do you have as third level spells anyway? Uh, protection from energy, elemental weapon, create food and water, spirit guardians, and beacon of hope. Man, spirit guardians would have been crazy in this fight. Yeah. That might actually be coming up pretty soon that you're going to need that, though. Because if we see the door breaking down, you can just have that and then take the defensive and um, I'm back. have a chance of not taking the concentration failures. And just every time they start trying to fight you, they just take damage. Hang on, first time or. Um, turn starts in there. It makes a whiz save or takes 3d8. Yeah, no, that'll probably be uh, 
<laughs> just me in the doorway with that going. I think we'll cover that entire stairwell. Yeah. <laughs> this rem- this has been reminding me a lot of uh, remember our final push on uh, Fort Valentine in Way of the Wicked. <laughs> yeah. Like we were infiltrating with stealth, and then we hit literally like the first roadblock, and we we're like, "Screw it, Zerg rush!" And we just started murdering <laughs> as many people as we could see. Um, out of curiosity, um, mm-hmm. who else here has read an AP from Paizo? I've I've read uh, a couple. The only the ones I've reserved. A little bit, but nothing. Has anyone noticed that there are a lot of dick-shaped rooms? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. I got to grab something from across the room. You've killed a lot of people. <laughs> anyway, I'm back. I just had to grab a couple things. Um, but no, I was looking at another AP for the future stuff. I was just kind of curious because there was one of the ones I was already planning on running anyway. And I started noticing a pattern for certain places. And I'm like, huh, this kind of looks like a dick again. <laughs> also, just to share with you guys, if you guys scroll down to the courtyard, this is your current kill count for this session. Nice. Also, I hope those Skizzerall are smart enough to not be in range of the army coming up. Well, there's no windows. I know, but if they start coming out... Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, they're probably all up and down the side of this building now. Yeah. Just webbed all over the outside. Mm-hmm. Hey, Gombo, can you shift-click maybe back to the map? We lost power here for a second. Oh, yeah. No problem. Hmm. Yep, there's still that many drow. Well, that we know of. We don't know. The door's closed. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I knew there was a reason I chose this um, subrace. Yeah, I'm just looking at it. Hmm. Is everyone back now? Yeah, I'm back. Yep. I'm not sure about Michael. He's muted, but I think everyone yeah. else is. I'm back. Okay, cool. So, you have a moment to uh, catch your breath. You hear, um, like, pounding fists on the other side of the door or people trying to put their shoulders into it, but... The magical lock is holding beyond physical strength, and at least for now, the metal door is not giving a budge. Do we want to check, make sure there's no one going to surprise us in these rooms and see if we can take a rest? Yes, I think we should do that. I am going to sit by the door. I might be able to buy us another minute should it start to collapse. So yeah, I wanted to have some of us go through. I know some of these doors are open. How many times yeah. could you place that lock-in rune in place? Uh, um, for... It's the one time today. Uh, um, but oh. it, it lasts until I dispel it. Yeah, excellent time to use it. Uh, I'm just going to do this for all the rooms that already have their doors yeah. open. Also, this cost me 25 gold dust, so... Hey. Uh, I, like... I remember I had just enough for that one, so I don't have any more. Worth it. Looks like a, a bu- it's a barracks. Uh, a lot of the bunks and everything were hastily turned over. It looked like they were leisuring about when the alarm sounded, so they hastily mm-hmm. donned their armor and weapons. Uh, Fergus Thrum is going to hand you this and say, hold it there against the wound. And you only get eight, not any of the rest of that is healing. I mean, eight's eight. Yeah. yeah. So I will but these other but two I don't down fav- favored enemy shards and rage hit you. <laughs> <laughs> so I only heal for three. Hold this it. against the wound. Stab. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're so pointy. This stabbing helps the healing. 
you have to make the wound bigger before it can heal properly, after all. Okay, so Ivy opens this door, and inside is various work tables with all manner of glass and bubbling alchemical equipment. The air smells noxious and unhealthy in here. <laughs> and Fergus? What about the attack on it? It's another empty room. Maybe like where the sergeant stayed. Gotcha. Um, we could probably try to press on that other room, but do we want to risk it? Do we want to just have Thrum stay against that door and take our chances I, to try to rest? I say check the closet at least. Yeah, because right. there's two doors in that room. Yeah, so one of us at least take... Can like we real stealth try to open them quietly and just enough to see inside and hopefully avoid notice? Sure. Chances of it ha- working is slim, but... So that's for me... And then for Ivy. Okay. And we're just cracking them open and seeing what we can see inside. Okay, so start with Ivy. Skeletons! What do you keep in your closet? Looks like a storeroom. Okay. And... Yes. See if there's any food in there. I'm getting mighty hungry. Uh, you open to what looks like a smaller yep. interior garden of mushrooms, where there is one female drow staying there waiting for you, with a uh, with a satchel and several vials on her belt. Uh, a slightly madcap smile across her uh, across her face as you open the door. She goes, "Oh, hello." I was wondering when you'd get here. And then she throws two vials at your face. Yep. I knew it was going to be my door, too. Okay, so... One... Oh, what pawn? This is the old sheet. Turn Turn him into a frog. Turn him into a frog. Oh, that would just be the worst. (laughs) Frog again. All right. Fourteen. We just need to yes. end up the awakened frog king of the dwarves. That one will hit. That's his new dwarf name. It's going to be something with frog. Well, you, you take seven radiant damage and give me a Constitution saving throw. This is not poison based, so you uh, just roll normal. Fergus, the dwarf and frog king. I was just okay. Go with you're frog you're not blinded. Uh, I'm just going to yell out that we have company. As I, yep. The frogger in chief. As she th- throws that vial at me, I just start uh, like rubbing my eyes. I'm like, you must be Andaria. Can you add my token? I forgot to click it before rolling initiative. Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. Oh, good. And I don't heard give up that 21. Okay. Oh, good, you've heard of me. I was worried that my work wouldn't get beyond here. It's so wonderful to have dwarves. I will so interested in finding a solution over your natural resistance to poison. Well, I'm sure it would make an excellent drink. Guys! Everyone everyone up? I think so. Okay. Freya! Alright. Um... I probably should have Actually, let me see. Give me a minute. I'm looking at... Yeah, how long does that take? Yeah, is it safe to say that I mended the Steel Defender? Because it only takes a minute. Uh, Yeah, you could have brought it up to uh, eat the bare minimum of what mend does. It wouldn't be full yet. Yeah. Uh, mend. Uh, as long as brain.
it says it just repairs it, but I know there are rules for moving. Oh, let, me, let me pull up, man. I think it might just be equivalent to cure, cure light wounds. I put bad it was supposed to be bad. I, I could have sworn it was like, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. Just say it's equivalent to cure light wound for now. Uh, yeah, the mending spell is cast on it. Regains 2d6. Mm-hmm. I believe. Yeah. Uh, I think Thrum is on top of it. 2d6. 10. Yep. So it's back up to 10. Move that X for you. All right. oh, you, so can, you can put it at 10 rather than 9. There's oh. no negatives in this game. Just zero. Oh, yeah, I got you. Um, did Fergus... I'm guessing I could hear Fergus. Yeah. Mm. I, like, I can't be quite loud in person, but my character would be yelling quite loud. As you also probably saw a flash of light, apparently. Mm-hmm. Coming gonna... from that door. Tiny flashbangs. Gonna <laughs> cha cha slide over here. Yell cha cha real step. smooth. Bring it back one time. She yells at Fergus the duck. Mm. And then she's gonna try to put two in this drown. Double tap. Am I still poisoned? Did we yeah. ever? Yeah, you're still poisoned. Yeah. An hour has not passed yet. If you take a short rest, you'll no longer. Yeah. We were trying to make sure that there was no one sneaking up on us, and yeah. surprise, surprise. It would have been fun if you took a short rest without checking. I'm just saying mm-hmm. that. Uh, that will miss. That'll yeah. miss. You know, she probably could have killed us if she had come into the room while she had 20 allies. Mm-hmm. But Not then there is the risk of poisoning your allies. Not all drow are smart. Or wise, I guess I should say. <laughs> Too shit. will enter through here, but he is just going to repair himself mm-hmm. for 2d8 plus 3. That's smart. Alright, so while it's rolling that, Thrum, you still just Thrum. hold the door? Uh, yeah, Thrum will hold this position and no, not knowing how low Fergus is. Thrum will shrink down. Shit, should I hold the door? That's cool. I, Hold it I don't around. think you're going to be much better than the steel door or iron door holding it shut with magic. Yep. Alright, and he will run. See what's going on. Shove past Fergus and get in front of him. Okay, one moment. That's double move for him, though. Be careful, she's going to give you four fades. Oh, yeah, and Andy's going to enter rage. Looks like a mutated violent fungus on across the ground spouts fangy maws, and they make bites against you. So they each get two attacks for prepared action. One. Oh, sorry, that just tickle was the 13. So, 13. No. 12. 10. No. 14. No. Okay. Nulgrim. All right. Nulgrim will go here, look at the witchy woman, and say, Oh, the ancestors are calling for vengeance on you. And use uh, my hex, hex blade mm-hmm. scourge on her. And hit her with a double... Uh, Double Eldritch Blast. Okay. I remember Hexblade's Curse is supposed to be really good. Uh-huh. It is. That'll all hit. Uh, let's see. That's 25. Uh, 14 plus 9. Uh, no. Uh, 14 plus 9 is 23. Okay. Listen, I'm not always the best at mental math. No, it's all good. Uh, 
Thank you for not doing that thing that assholes have done to me my entire life when I get mental math wrong, where they just say, no, that's not right, and then they're silent. I'm like, well, tell me what it is. I hate, I hate when people do that. Yeah. If you're going to say it's wrong, at least, at, least, at least try to help if you're going to say no. How, one of my managers do that about a bug I wrote, or she just sent it back to me. She's like, you have some missing spaces. I'm like, well, what are they? <laughs> She's like, well, what do you think? I'm like, I've been on this job for seven months. Don't turn this into a learning experience. <laughs> also, I'm not in school anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Clearly, I didn't think there was one there. <laughs> yeah. I would have sent it back and been like, no, there aren't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew where she was sitting, too. If there was, if she had sent it back to me a second time, I was just going to get up and walk all the way across the office and be like, do you want me to do my job? Because you're just wasting my time now. <laughs> anyway, uh, she's very badly wounded, but still standing. Miku. All right, Miku's going to head down to see what the commotion is. And if you allow that he was able to pick up his spear, he will chunk it again. Pick up his javelin, but he definitely does not have line of sight on the drow. Oh. But you could probably hit this guy. Yeah, I could probably hit the, the fungus. Okay. Because there is a fungus among us. Yeah, I can't see the door. Yeah, I'm on top of it. Mm -hmm. That'll hit. Uh, probably not no, raging by this No point. rage. Sorry. No worries. Fungus is still active, but... It has taken damage. Pascal. <laughs> Yep. Hodor, you gonna stay there in total defense? <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> actually, ain't gonna do any good if I'm there. Uh, can't see anyone worthwhile, but I'll start moving the hammer down. I took two rounds off it because I figured. A little bit of time passed while they were checking rooms. Okay. And, um... Yeah, man, let's... Yeah. Yeah. Second, check my thing. And now the door breaks. <laughs> <laughs> no. No peyote. <laughs> All right, so first up, she's going to throw a vial at Thrum. And it's terribly. She's going to throw a second one. It's terribly. Just getting terrible rolls for this lady. All these fun abilities. All right, mm -hmm. Ivy. I'm uh, going to go to here and fire oh, I, upon... I guess, sorry, I shall move over here so that way she's not with the direct line of fire of the yeah. brow she Ivy's going to fire at this thing anyway. Yep. This short bow. Uh, hit. Oh, hit? It, it's a stationary plant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Yep, I'm just letting you know. It's It's an easier one. 13 points of damage. 13. Not dead. And then that'll be her turn. And then Fergus will fire on said plant as well. Okay. Back up, boy. That'll hit. Don't let one of these things grab you. Sorry, it was taking a while to roll damage. Yep, and killed it. And then I, I am going to move back. And that's my turn. All right. Violet Fungus's turn. Of course, I roll a one. I only get one attack against Thrum. Eight, which will miss terribly. Come on, guys. we got to send the fungus to fight the fungus. <laughs> fungus, fungus. All right, don't try, to steal, don't try to steal my joke, coat. Sorry. <laughs> This is what happens when you try to convert uh, some monsters from Pathfinder 5th edition. And just, you, I'm like, it's a small encounter. I'll try doing one-to-one -one just to see what happens. 
Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'm rolling bad, but still. <laughs> so, Freya. All right. Then the Steel Defender in the first. Um, don't know how strong this lady is. I'm probably not right. Spells. Let's go ahead and cast. Actually, I, I think I'm just going to send him in there. I don't think that would particularly help do something like that. Uh, Steel Defender's going in. Alright. Back in Evil Lady. Howard Rand. Steel Defender, more like Steel Offender. That'll hit. Five Force. Badly hurt, but still standing. And Freya. Don't, I can't aim at anyone in there, I don't think. No, you, you don't. could probably go here or, yeah, there, and get yeah. the line, line on the plant. Two shots on the plant. Pew pew. Hit. Hit. Yeah, it's a bit very dead. Uh, so, we've learned something fun today, is that even while poisoned, Freya can still hit the broadside of the barn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Thrum. Alright, Thrum will go large. Take a step back, and... Does he want to grab this bitch or nah? He'll just swing at her. That'll hit. And dead. And I get nine hit points. That's what she de deserves. You get nine hit points? Uh, X Blades Curse? Yep, level plus uh, intelligence mod. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So I'm back to full health. Well, that's the out dead alchemist. Yep. Furry kind of looks around the room like, I'd like to investigate this room, but I think I need to sit down. Yeah, I think we should all try to take a rest. Oh. What What does this door look like? It's, a, it's another metal door. Same deal. I, why don't we barricade two metal doors and I'll stay in here and take our rest. I can't barricade another one with magic, so... Mm. Also, apparently the air in there is kind of me. Yeah, no negative effects. <laughs> it's, it's very comfortable. Yeah. Uh, Again, I'd, I'd like to investigate that further later, but let's clear out the fortress if we can. It's like sleeping in a bottle of Neosporin. <laughs> So we just try to take a rest in here. Not just born. Uh, pneumonia. pneumonia. Yeah, sorry. My mind's just going. You guys going to try for that short rest? Yeah, I'm going to go into this room and go onto the general's bed. <laughs> the sergeant's bed? Yes. Well played. His pillow is poisoned. Trump's going to sit and stare at the door. Meditate. Like he's like I say he's on the bed, but he's like sitting on it, like bandaging himself up more than anything. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys get to take your short rest. Let's see. First, I need to do two d tens for my fighter levels. Ooh, get my spell slots and my hex back. I am back in full fighting form. I got some D8s to roll. Is there a max on how many die you can roll in a short rest? Your level. Okay. Like you have a total. Yeah, number that's of the only. That's the only number of die you have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you are not limited. 
Uh, you can use as many as you want per rest. Gotcha. So no. Nope. Well, those came out very poorly. Yeah, yeah, I rolled a one and then a three on a one d twelve and a one d ten. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I have one more hit die left. I'm saving, but I'm almost at full now. I'm not sure we'll be able to get another <laughs> short rest once we do this. So mm-hmm. yeah, it just seems kind of a waste. Poisoned. It seems kind of a waste to do for four hit points, though. No, no, I think it's worthwhile. It could make the difference between you staying up and falling down. Oh, I don't get my rages back. That sucks. I do get my action surge back, though. And my second wind, so... I think you only use one rage, though. Um, I triggered one in that last fight, and I shouldn't have. I mean, it helped. Hmm. Okay, is Michael wrong for his, or... I just told Fender is up in fighting form, too. What's up? Yeah. We're, we got our short rest. Are you can roll your hit dice here. Oh yeah, and remove poison. Yep. Uh, no, I, I think I'm liking the extra challenge gun. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm good, guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna put Miko up to full because one hit oh. die, no matter what, will bring him back up. Yep. Freya's liking fighting with the armored clothes or the uh, weighted clothing, like every DBZ character. <laughs> And, um, oh, right. We get our con to it, too, don't we? Yep. yep. Uh, Man, oh, you, I forgot that. Then I yeah, each, each hit die you spend, you get to add your con to. Yeah, then I only would have needed two. Um, while we're short resting, can we go through the loot on those bodies? Is that a light enough activity? Uh, yes, but it's still the, primarily just the standard, uh, Drow soldiery kit. What about the general okay. person? The the sergeant? Yeah. Um, it's still the exact same kit. They're just more skill. Gotcha. How about on the chick? Uh, on her, you find a few different alchemical vials. Let me pull up her sheet. I imagine we're going to have to wait a while before we can determine what those are. Considering he just blacked back out, I'm now worried about what we're going to find on the other side of that door. Well, listen, I I, I like the ability to do <laughs> things without you guys going. Oh, I see he's moving tokens. Yep. <laughs> he's moving. He's moving. Yeah, you find um, she has three green vials that you're fairly certain are vials of acid. Uh, two vials of what looks like um, some kind of warm black tarry substance um, without opening them, of course. And another one that has um, like a, a densely packed white substance in there. Would I recognize that one? Uh, that was the one that collided with your face. Yeah. <laughs> and then she also has uh, a brace of about six decks. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, I'll take a couple of those vials, and I have a feeling I know what one of them is. This one tried to blind me, after all. Yeah. Go for it. So it was one of those, there was three vials of acid? Yeah, three vials of acid. Just the standard vial of acid from the uh, from the court rulebook. Yep. And then three black vials? Yep. Or two black vials. Okay. Was there anything on her herself? That's what I just read to you. Oh, I thought you were reading that room right there. So. No, we, have, we haven't investigated that room yet. That seems like not something we can really do right now. Not on a short rest, no. Yeah, that's something that we're probably going to have to come back to after we clear this place. And we need to go through the storeroom. Because the cart's empty. Yeah. Uh, about 20 minutes into your um, uh, short, short rest, rest, the banging on the door stops. Yeah, that's promising. Not. Hey. 
but I'm just going to stand up and take a hold of the handle just in case something magical pulls against it. Yep, so far nothing. And he stands there like a stoic rock. Okay. Yeah, when we do go to open it, we better be prepared to act because I imagine they're not going to just let us proceed easily. Uh, they may have gone on. I had blast. I should have left my bat out there. Give us a little bit of external view for a little bit. So I get used to having this little guy around. All right. Um, Actually, out of, out of character real quick. Because yeah. um, Fine Familiar says I could uh, make it bamf. Uh, and they occupied space within 30 feet of me. I imagine that also means line of sight, so I can't just do it on the yeah. floor below. Yeah, <laughs> if, if I'm letting you teleport security yeah. cameras through walls, I should just give you the end. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. That's kind of what I feared, but just, yeah. just wanted to ask. So, once we're all rested up and everything, yep. we got to make uh, a decision. Do you want to head back down or just try to fight whatever's in there? And where? Like, do we want to try to get through the tunnel and then just fight what may come? Or do we want to actually try to vacate the keep for a minute? Or at least yeah. go down to the first floor? I say we destroy everything in here. I think we fight our way up and then fight whatever is back down there. And expect that uh, this schizero will be able to act as backstop to anybody that tries fleeing. I'm still worried about what was in that trap door. I'm pretty sure that's where the torture is. And if he comes up from below us while we're fighting whatever's up top. Or vice can... versa. Either way, we're confronted on both sides, so yeah. let's press on up. I imagine the higher up we go, though, we're going to run into the leader of this place. And I imagine she's not going to bother fighting with the peons below is my concern, but... I, yeah. I made a mistake last time. I'll follow whatever you guys did. Uh, I think it wouldn't hurt to at least clear out the stair and fight our way one level up to get a strong f foothold before we try backtracking, but I don't know. It yeah. seems like one way or another we need to yeah. fight our way to breathe in room. Uh, the door, as you guys are talking, suddenly goes bam with one big bang, and you hear a creaking of metal as the, like this sound of scraping on the other side of the door. It's just like one constant pushing motion as you used to see little bits of stone flake off. Um, Let's get everyone, in position. Everyone give me a per uh, perception as well. I don't know how. <laughs> okay, well, so far, nothing. Damn, I hate to do this, but I need to get one for Miku. There we go. Yeah, Freya and Ivy, you might see something, but none of us. Yep. Uh, Freya, Ivy, and Miku, um, you guys hear um, the sounds of dozens upon dozens of tiny claws raking the door, along with squealing little voices of pain and panic as it just shoves against the door. The fuck is that? I don't know, but I don't think we're going to like it, so... No positions. places with me. I want okay. to get you as, most, as many of you in range as possible. Or should I put Throm right up in front? For what? To prepare for whoever's coming our way? Aye. How should we deal it? Do you want me to just see if I could clear out the room with uh, another hammer blow? The door explodes inward. Uh. <laughs> and yeah. in is a absolute tidal wave of kobolds. No oh, god, kobolds. Nice. Uh, they're each. There's three on each space here. I I, I kind of swarmed them up. Mm -hmm. So because they got a kind of a tidal wave thing, um. They get a surprise run real quick. So real quick here, they are going to take a at advantage athletics against Nulgrim to perform the shove action. 
Athletics. Oh, that's not going to go there. Wait, is it opposed or is it against something? It's opposed. Uh, oof. Um, I'm just setting this up. Mm. They get advantage because they're technically like all giving each other the help action here. Fifteen. Oh, I, that's supposed to be eight, but that still wins. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, it was an advantage. Sorry. Ah, my mind's going. Yeah, so no you get you get shifted back, um, five feet as that mm. one surges forward, and then this one comes in. This one comes in. This one comes in. Uh, Thrum, roll me in athletics. You're looking to beat a ten. That should not be impossible for you. No, Thrum has a plus ten. Yeah, so. Yeah, they don't shift you back, but now we'll roll initiative. Well, that worked out because now we have everyone has a shot at them. Mm -hmm. I can get the positioning. That... Oh. Man, this is where the dice are starting to betray me. <laughs> Jesus. Look at those initiatives. Oh, I still beat the kobolds. Niku was sleeping. Where did they get kobolds from? I like this. Probably slaves. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. They're the natural enemy of dwarves, anyways. Gnomes, but yes. That's, that's why they're pushing in. They're trying to come for Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> they want her Nivies. You can't tap her. All right. Uh, I think that is everyone up on there. I think so. Okay. We have um, Miku. Yeah. I forgot because yeah. we just rolled a roll a roll initiative. All right. So, uh, Tasco, you're up first. Hmm. Well, with this tidal wave of scales coming in, uh, I will actually hold off. So I want to see if Fergus can try and get them on our side. Given that there's probably slaves, oh, they've probably got collars and shit. Mm, they don't. They don't have collars, but they don't not look in good health. In fact, give me an insight if you'd like as a react. Just him or the rest of us, too? Um, anyone who wants to. It's just because mm -hmm. Tascal was uh, specifically pointing out possibly getting him on the side. Uh, Fergus, looking at these kobolds, um, whatever language they're talking about, I don't suppose you speak draconic, so that's probably not a uh, thing you can do. But their eyes are absolutely bloodshot, mad, and wild with fear. They've kind of entered that state that some beings get where there's so much terror and fear they've basically gone into a panicked frenzy mm -hmm. it's like um, rats will eat through each other yeah exactly yeah I'll just call out that there's probably not going to be any reasoning with the, the ones that are being pushed like this hmm. yeah probably have best to put them down and maybe we can deal with the ones that survive but there's not going to be defending against this right now yeah, all right. Unfortunately, because uh, I love kobolds. <laughs> you love elves and love kobolds. Damn it, boy, what have you been doing? Hey, this is out of character. <laughs> yeah, In character, he's never seen a kobold. Oh, yeah. never mind. I, I love the little fun fact about kobolds that they technically live as long as elves, but they usually just die before that. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows how long they live. All right, so you are you just holding your turn, Taskal? Uh, yeah, because it'd take him most of a round to respond to that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Uh, the drow sergeant starts issuing orders to her troops here. So they will get the 1d4. That's a standard action for her. Thrum. Uh, Thrum, it's not the same. He's just going to start hitting these things. Okay. Or trying to.
That'll hit. Which one are you attacking? Uh, let's attack this one in the back. All right. Let's see. Charge. Okay, you squish a single kobold. <laughs> There's now two on that space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the drow's turn here. Uh, they're continuing to push up the kobolds, but I think, yeah, he's got line of sight on you. So he will take a shot at you with his light crossbow. Who's you? Uh, sorry, uh, Thrum. Okay. 11, should probably paint off your skin. Yes. Uh, Freya. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to step up here. Mm -hmm. Then launch fairy fire into the middle of this room. Nice. Nice. Uh, That's a, I want to say dex save. Uh, I'll, I'll... Go ahead and put it in. I always forget what the save is. Mm. It is, I think. Uh, yeah, dexterity saving throw. All right, so I'll roll for two groups of kobolds. Two, yep, that fails. And now for the draft soldiers. One, two, fail, three, fail, four. Fail, wow. Fail. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Oh, I actually, have... I, I totally forgot about um the sergeant's command when he shot from one, one second. Uh, no, fourteen won't do it. Uh, drow sergeant, fail. Yeah. I'll uh pink dot them. Pink dot them all. <laughs> still defender. And the still defender will attack. Um. This round, right here. Uh, this group of kobolds right here. Yeah. All right. Kobold down there. That'll hit. Roll damage. Seven. You squish one kobold. Fergus. I'm going to step here. I'm going to fire at this commando. Mm-hmm. Let's see. It has advantage on it. Which means you get stink attack, right? Yep. yep. That'll hit. Nice. For 16. Big dip. Eh, fuck it. I'm going to action surge and fire again. All right. Well, not, not with a sneak attack, but it'll be four damage. All right, so that's 20 damage total. Yep. But you still have advantage, right? Yeah. Yeah, but, but the sneak attack only triggers once per round. It's not like Pathfinder. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's an okay. action surge or not. Otherwise, everyone yeah. would be a rogue <laughs> fighter. Right. And it would just be stupid. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm going to one round kill this dragon. Da, 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 da. I got a pull in a steery. Watch me go. <laughs> like, Fergus himself doesn't think it's going to work, but he will call out... Um, in um, under common that the drow will fall today. Um, you could be with us or against us to the um, kobolds, but I'm pretty sure they're in a frenzy right now. Yeah. But um, Ivy will target the captain as well, I think. Okay. That'll hit. And that'll kill. Okay. And that'll be your turn. Pilgrim. All right. Well, with the one he was originally going to target has fallen, he's going to use, uh, use green flame blade on the cold bolt immediately next to him. All right. So, normal attack with the war pick. Oof. It's probably a miss, huh? Oh, why is it cold? Uh, yeah, right. that, that'll miss. All right. And then nothing happens. Um... 
Yeah, and he'll just hold his ground. Yeah, unfortunately, kobolds aren't zombies. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, this one here will form a shove action against Thrum. So, I suppose athletics. Jeez. You're looking to beat an 18. Oh, it's a natural 20. Sorry. Yeah, you just lose. What if I roll a natural 20? Is this uh, true? Yeah, I guess I guess give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger things have happened. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think one. <laughs> so a kobold just pushed him out of the way. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I just realized something. Um, so technically, they're small and you're large, which means they qualify for faux climbing. So I'm gonna say that this group of two yes. climbs up the axe in your arm, and they're actually on you, and you stagger yes. backwards. Yes. Uh, is there like a push pull weight limit in this game? Um, it's, I think it's, it's like two categories higher than you or something. Yeah. Um, so you're at their absolute limit, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and now you, they, they have advantage against all attack rolls against you now, and you have disadvantage against all attack rolls on them. <laughs> and you can do an opposed um, athletics or acrobatics. Um, you do an athletics, they can choose athletics or acrobatics to dislodge each kobold. Can I try and grab them? Um, you can on your turn, but that once okay. again will be a disadvantage. Okay. All right. Um, this one here is going to try to shove Nulgrim again. Seven. Okay, so it doesn't shove you. So this one will stream in. And let's see here. I think they're also going to try to climb you. So you just <laughs> have a mountain of <laughs> like on it. Um. So that. Would be Hold on, let me pull up my DMG. Remind myself what the faux climbing rules are before I go around breaking them. Because it's something I really think is fun. It's an optional mm. rule. But it's 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 a, a lot of fun to use. Seems like it. I like it. Especially since we actually have a regularly big character. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no. I just forget what page it's on hi ho hi yo it's up the foe we go here we go um, to the beard we shoot thrum stop drop and roll that's how it works right uh they've just been lice they don't bother me where Is this where it is? Just try to quick. I know I put it in the chat like a long time ago. Aircraft is acid vial a splash weapon? Uh no, it only hits a five foot space. I do have some outpost uh, fire though. Well it would still be technically be able to hit three kobolds if they're on the same space, right? Yeah. Oh, something to consider. It's just as good as my alchemist fire, but I can actually throw it and like if I threw it in this room and hit everybody in here. Mm. I just figured take out the leader first is probably the better option. Yeah, for sure. I'm sorry, this is bogging it down. Uh, apparently, there's a climb onto a bigger creature action. Yeah, that's that's the option I'm looking at it. If I grappling, okay, so it's it's like a, a grapple attack. And I ruled they have to be uh, two size categories higher. So we kind of th themed the other one because um, they got a natural 20. So this will be an at advantage attack roll. 15. Does that hit you? No, it does not. Uh, my AC? Your AC? No. Okay. So no worries about that. Sorry for the hold up. This one files in. It's going to take the shove action against Taskal. So, as opposed to athletics, you need to be a 12. Yeah. 
He got a 13. Ah. So he's not shoved. Uh, and then this group here will take the shove action against Fergus. 13. And I have to oppose that, or is it just against Yeah, oppose, opposed uh, athletics. Can he use acrobatics? Yeah. Uh, shove is very specifically. Okay. Uh, so they just shove you up against this wall. <laughs> Fair. Or actually, that's right. Sorry. It's either they can push you five feet or knock you prone. So they knock you prone instead. So they don't have any more movement. No problem. No damage. Just prone. <laughs> All right. That's their turn. Miku. That's you, Mutants. Cope. Oh, sorry. Alrighty, Miku will attack right in front of him. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll hit. Damage. Ooh. And squashes another couple. Now it's just. I like that you finally got to use swarming kobolds mm -hmm. or kobolds in a trench coat. <laughs> this was my idea. If you guys took a rest in the tower is that the tower can use them as cover to move through that bridge by just mm. packing it full of so many kobolds that you actually couldn't shoot your out through. It. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Tasco. All right. Well, start a, uh, Dwarven war song is the vo vocal and you know, concentration component of it, but uh, anyone within that range at the start of their turn will be uh, succumbing to this. Oh, oh spiritual oh. guardian, nice. Oh, yeah. man. This yep. is a great it, spell. And each kobold uh, resolves uh, independently, so that'll plow right through them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just turned on the mulcher. <laughs> now I'm curious what the fucking the spirit guardians look like for Taskal. Uh, just a bunch of hammers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, that was that was my first guess. Uh, offhand, I would say just golden dwarves with kind of a fiery appearance. Oh god, they're they, like long gnome sized dwarves, <laughs> <laughs> just floating in the air. Awesome. Okay. And that's um, at the start of their turn, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Or if they move into the space. Gotcha. So that's a dead draw sergeant. So Thrum, you got kobolds. Um, I like a it. curious case of kobolds. I like how you said that. Um, <laughs> if I were to try and grapple this one standing next to me that is actually three kobolds, you Could I, grab. with my big hand, grab all three of them? No, still only one. Uh, so if I shove against this group, can I shove all three back? Uh, I will say yes, just because they're a swarm, but that won't be doing any damage or anything. Yeah. Um, and what was the ruling for the two that are on me? Uh, you roll athletics, and they roll athletics or acrobatics, their choice. Okay, so I'm going to roll an athletics to try and grab one. Off of me. Uh, oh, if you want to grab it, then that's an attack roll at disadvantage. Okay, and what would uh, what you had said? Just the athletic. That was just that's just to knock them off. No okay. damage. They're just no longer on you. Attack roll at disadvantage or knock them off. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try and knock them off. Athletics. All right. Is this a disadvantage? Uh, no, it's normal. Okay. Where was that when they pushed me over? <laughs> yeah, you... They're, like, clawing at your head, so you just, like, shake your head, and uh, they go kerplunkers over here. Okay. But now they know a new game. <laughs> oh, the kobolds rush through them. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bring All right. It. It's the Drow's turn. Now that they've got a gap. Are they? Because some of them are within fifteen feet, aren't they? Yes. So it is at the start or the end of the turn. At the start. At the start. Okay. So who is the starter when they enter the area? So. Uh, one. I'm gonna roll the damage. Uh, that one saves. Wow. Nice save. Still takes half, right? Yeah. Yep. Only got a nine on the damage. You need to go to the casino, though. Three, three, three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Won't pay big, but it'll pay something. Uh, target is 15. So. So I'm not yep. sure if the radius. So the second one fails, but the first one succeeds. He's warned. Here. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's right. Their movement's half, so he can't actually get that far. Mm-hmm. It's rain. And then would it, more will be Would it provoke in. over uh, Taskal? Or throw uh, Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this one couldn't move that far. That's my bad. But this first one does get a provoke from Taskal as it's moving out of the Copeland space. Okay. Mm. The nine damage does not kill it, but is so very close. <laughs> Even after it took some damage from the spiritual guardians. Yeah, I oh, I did the okay. math. I guess that's the one that made the save. So. Ah. Yeah, that's the one that made the save. All right. Um, the other two these two just... in the back are probably smart enough not to step into that fun house for a second. <laughs> Uh, but this one here will make a attack against Taskal, and then there will be one against the Thrum. So, again, Taskal, <laughs> one, five mm-hmm. piercing damage, and then against the Thrum, 14, which will probably miss. And I think you have to make a constitution save now because of concentration. Okay. Mm-hmm. You only the good news is you just have to get 10. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Yep, you're good. Thorm's going to actually repost. <laughs> Even though the 14 would not hit you? Um, he has one to soak damage, and then one that if they miss, he gets to hit them back. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Basically, the no you situation. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. I imagine this will, yeah, he had one hit point. And get some of these numbers down. Oh, don't worry. Come the Kobold's turn. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of numbers down. And I can keep this up for 10 minutes. Yeah. Just Yeah, that's a deadly fucking spook. We, we just surround you and we just start slowly walking up. <laughs> yeah. Why some die. people believe that uh, clerics are the best uh, class in the game. They are considered one of the best ones for sure. Clerics, I mean, wizards, and warlocks are considered the top three. Certainly in, I mean, once again, I don't care about power gaming, and as a GM, I could always create scenarios like, what if someone was sniping you from 100 feet out? Yeah, (laughs) spiritual weapons are really good now, huh, punk? (laughs) Um, Anyway, so that's the drow's turn. Freya. All right. And don't forget, everyone with a purple dot, you have advantage against Mm. everyone. Right there, going to hit with the Gloomstalker. All right, hit 13. Now kill. That's one must go all right. Uh, let's go ahead and finish off that one right there. Okay. Take that one off the board. That's the normal one. Yep, that'll hit. And... Dead. There's so much blood in this one. (laughs) (laughs) Right. This this room's gonna be haunted as shit when we're done. (laughs) 
<laughs> That's why I went and slept in the bed. What? There, sh- there should be like 30 bodies in here. There, there's so much dead people. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, brain. take a moment to realize what's what, what this looks like, because Freya doesn't reload and fires two shots around. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You would just hear a whirling fall by a... And did you want to, uh, bonus action, have your steel defender attack? Yeah, I'm going to attack the... Well, let me see. Uh... Let's have him move down and attack that one that I hit. Okay. The steel defender at advantage. That hit. For five. And you kill a cobalt. Okay. So All right, Fergus. Um, first half of my movement to stand up. Gonna move here to get a better angle at the ones in the back. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna fire at that one. Okay. That'll hit. For 17. How you have sneak? Uh, advantage. I, advantage. Oh, All right. Fire. That, yep, yep. Right. Sorry. Yeah, it's dead. Yep. That's the one nice thing that they added that yeah. if they have if you had advantage, you just get sneak attack. Mm-hmm. She'll move up here and attack this one. Okay. Four. Fourteen. And you are targeting the drow? Yeah, the drow right here. Yep, also dead. Oh, the, that one, sorry. Yeah, Yeah, sorry, this one. Dead either way. <laughs> Does Nogrim have line of sight against this one or no? Hold on, I'm, I'm moving the token. I'll be right okay. with you. Lots, lots of bodies hit the floor. Yeah. Lots of bodies hit the floor. Uh... I would say if you moved up to this space, you would. Uh, that would provoke from attacks, though. So he's going to hold hold his turn to. Eh, no, that'd be metagamey. So yeah, he'll. I go for the bonus allow, action. Allow the attacks time. and try to get a line of sight on this guy. Okay. So this will be four attacks. Y- 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 y'all ready for this? Mm-hmm. Check it. It's going to be so insane. <laughs> These are like, what, CR 1 8 or something? I'm just waiting yeah. for all the grits. What's, what's, what's your AC, by the way? 17. All the men. Um... <laughs> Okay. So they all start clawing at you, and only one of them manages to slash um, because they're unarmed. Yeah. <laughs> so one of us little claws gets into your leg joints, and you take one point of slashing damage. Bloody hell! No. And then double Eldritch Blast against that guy. Mm-hmm. That's gonna get infected. I just knew it. Yep, that'll hit. Yeah, it does have an advantage if you want to try to fish for a crit. Oh yeah, true. Um. I'll just say those 25s for the first uh, one. I'll just roll. Because okay, they were yeah. literally identical. Yeah. And Elder's Bliss, that advantage. All right. Yeah, okay, he's still standing. <laughs> and now the Kobold Apocalypse. Blender. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, that's one. Four. I'm just going to roll the save four times rather than the number of cobalt. Actually, before I even roll anything, roll what's damage. the damage? Because there is a possibility that you'll just yeah. insta-kill them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, they, they, I don't need to roll all these ones. Just So, golden flaming dwarves come out, and they just one hammer per group. Just <laughs> did, did we just commit a war crime? <laughs> it's only a war crime if you lose. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, God. One group of kobolds still remain. <laughs> now, the thing is, are they more afraid of us now or the drow? <laughs> I don't think rationality has anything involved at this point. Yeah. Uh, this group here is going to give each other the help action to make a attack against Thrum to try to climb on him. <laughs> Eight will not hit. Miku. All right, Miku will step out here. Try and finish this one off with advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just going to roll, so twice. There we go. Yep. Did. Yeah. Ooh, double force. Nice. All right, Askel. Mm -hmm. the, the the advantage of this blender is it can move. <laughs> <laughs> Though I don't mm. think if you move the area into the space, they take no. Damage. No, yeah, I think that's the way they balance Not it. Because otherwise, you know, just full or uh, take a double move action, just blend everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to decide if I should pick them off or start working our way out. I think Correct. probably work your way to the stairs. Yeah. I figured out as a better game thing, we'd probably deal with the kobolds. Below. <laughs> I mean, metagaming wise, I think we would probably deal with the kobolds and probably stop here for the day, but mm. that's up to you guys. I mean, I'm I'm fine with whatever you guys want to do timing wise. I just know that this dungeon's going to go on for quite a while still. I mean, yes and no. It's not, it's not a real dungeon, it's a fort. So. It's got a, a fixed ending that you could beeline to if you wanted to. You want a perception for me to see if I can hear any more drow from below or above? Yeah, sure. Ooh, nice. There are definitely drow awaiting in the next floor above. Are there anybody at the immediately top of the stairs that are suddenly like crying out as... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that's not how it, that works. <laughs> okay. Otherwise... Literally every dungeon in the future, you guys are gonna be like, I think there's an enemy in the next room. Task will lean up against this wall. <laughs> so we're not doing it that yeah. way. Okay. <laughs> that works for me. Well, I'm gonna wait for someone to take the lead because they're already in action for an attack. So it's only 15 feet of movement. Drop. Mm -hmm. Just try to top of the stairs. We hear an Elvish. Is that singing? <laughs> Thumb smash. Thumb try to smash. Mm. Yep, that'll. Nope. That's, kill, uh. Kill something's very wrong with that. Well, it's the same as my shards damage, so that's fine. I mean, you just need to do five points of damage to kill one. Okay. All right. All right. We are going to shoot that one twice. <laughs> <laughs> Double tap, make sure it's down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll hit. That actually won't kill it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it has a chance to see its life flash go where it's The bolt goes through its stomach and it's like tugging at it, and like, eh, 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 and then the second one just hits it in the head and it goes down. <laughs> kind of sad in its own way. Alright, let's organize and go up. Uh... In a reasonable manner. Yeah. 
I will say that um, I do have to leave soon because I have to work. At, I have to get up at three thirty in the morning. Yeah, okay. it's a solid stopping point. Yep. Um, yeah. Real quick, could Nolgrim uh, go blind and let his bat fly on the floor below as a quick scout to see if there's anybody waiting down below? When your uh, turn comes back around the initiative order, we're oh, keeping okay. this where it is. You're not uh, out of combat, my friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll move back. I think it was right yeah. here. No, it's right here. Ah, guys, wait for me to say so. <laughs> <laughs> you're only in the middle of a fort where everyone knows that you're where you are and knows that you're coming. They don't know exactly where we're at yet. I think yes, they, they the do. Singing. The room with the singing and all the screams of the dying. <laughs> All of the screams of all of the dying. Hey, if also, they didn't want to die, they should have retreated by now. Also, I just would like to point this out. You guys spent literally one hour in a room filled with like three dozen bodies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then so, by the time we left, we doubled that. I went to the, the next room over to rest. I was the smart one. Also, just so you guys know, if you scroll down here, here's your uh, kill count. Nice. Is that just today, or is that also including the uh, wall? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, this is what you killed in the initial assault. The drow commander's gotta be up there, and he's gotta be like, oh, it's five. It's like five dwarves. It'll be over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where did we hire these guys? Heavy dwarves are pretty good at fighting. That was looking pretty close to 50 to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, plus this guy over here. Oh, no, he's not dead. He's just unconscious. He might, have, he might have recovered now, but if he had any sense, he left. <laughs> Where the Skizrel snagged him up. <laughs> yes. So, I was honestly... Uh, out, out of character, the reason I kept him alive is because I wanted to um, interrogate him about the place to, after we get down the hole. Mm-hmm. See if he has any information to give us, because a diplomat would probably have more information for that stuff than most grunts. I guess we know what's in the hole now. Kobolds. <laughs> um, well, not now. There's probably nothing down there now. I'll I'll <laughs> just tell you guys this, is that there is many ways that could have gone wrong if my rolls were better yeah. for you guys. Oh, yeah. But I would like when, to defend... Oh. When it was like seven people shooting Taskal, even though they had disadvantage, it was still mm-hmm. not possible for them to have gotten like a, tw- a 20 or a natural 20 and had it hurt really, really bad. Oh, yeah. I was uh, closer I than I would have liked. I assume you've come to tell me that the dwarves have been slain. No, sir. Uh, that's another 22 more casualties. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to defend my choice. I was not the one that instigated this time. I just followed after someone else went up. I knew not what I did. <laughs> I just love that Throne keeps giving good strategic advice and no one heeds it at all. <laughs> <Never> <laughs> <before>. <laughs> and then it always seems to hinge on Taskle. It's like uh, a couple rush forward, but if Taskle stays back, maybe they'll all retreat. And then Tasco goes forward because it's his daughter and his future. <laughs> so I'm not going to tally up the XP this time. I'm going to wait till you're done with the entire fort. Makes sense. We are in active combat right now anyway. So, mm-hmm. Y'all, I am starving for some reason, so I'm going to say goodnight. Right. Yeah. <laughs>